And we're cool. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to our dev stream. Um, I'm Jake Kaufman, and Bridget, you want to say hi? Yeah, I'm hi. I'm Bridget. Should I put our cams up? You think? Let's put our let's put our screens up. What's up? We're um sitting here in the Yacht Club offices in different rooms right now. Uh, and we're going to do some sound effects creation and implementation, which means making making all the sounds using this stuff. Well, you don't see the tracker yet. That's just the other my other tracker. So this is Furnace Tracker, and it's what I'm using to make all the sound effects for Mina the Hollower. And then Bridget has Visual Studio open, which is what we're using to program it. And we're going to like make sounds live and have them put in the game live. While, while you wait. So I'm pretty excited about this. So Bridget, you want to tell people what you, what you do and how you do it? Um, like I said earlier, not club. That means some Jake add stuff to enemies and into the to improve sound effects. Hang on, Bridget. I think you're not coming through for some reason. Yeah, one sec. It was working literally when we just tested it just now. One moment. I know how to fix this one. It's only quiet because you're hearing it through my headphones. One second. Speakers, audio box. Say something. Hello. Testing. Hey, we're back. I had a, you know, when you yank a cable out and it changes audio devices on you and it, you tell it no, but it still mm. does it. So, hey, what's up? Jake, before we kind of get into sound effects, do you want to talk about like a little bit of like the magic of the setup and that like uh, you're, I'm streaming to your stream which is streaming yeah. my stream. <laughs> so we set up network video, um, which is a giant cluster and it's like never not a headache, but it's possible thus to stream from anywhere and have us all in one stream. So Bridget's webcam and my cam are on our own computers and she's streaming over to me on the internal network. And then I'm like compositing the whole thing and sending it out, which is, I mean, it's kind of nuts, but I've done it before and I, and it, like worked okay then and it works okay now but we got to figure out something for the audio setup because it's it's never not going to be janky it's like a billion tubes and wires and just it's a it's a it's an ordeal so we but, uh well hmm. like if if we can make it work i think it's i think it's pretty cool because like your end is like really visual and then yeah. my end is also kind of visual yeah, we can both um, so show it, what we're it, doing. yeah it helps to be able to kind of see both if we can pull it off Definitely. Okay, so everybody's clear. Everybody's here and everything. Good. Everybody seems uh, all right. We're all we're all checked in. Let's make sure that I can actually play audio. All right. Good. I think that should come through. That's uh, that was me doing this. Man, I gotta make the thing switch to the tracker faster. It takes its sweet time. It's See, okay. I can just type in notes. I don't think you could hear that, Bridget, though. That's why we got to get the, um, the audio I can hear up. it. I can hear it like a little bit, although I don't know what it would be that I'm hearing. It's probably, again, it's coming through my uh, my mic. But uh, hey, as long as it's not completely silent and you're like, I'm doing all this music. And you're like, what? <laughs> so, um, so, all right. What you see on my screen is over here is Furnace Tracker and over here is SoundForge, which is my the notepad of sound editing. It's my like go-to tool anytime I have to edit a WAV file which is what these things are. Um, this is the song, and this is a sound, a sound effect uh, for Mina. Um, so you see how they, they all look like way different. This one is just... And this one is... It's like a whole song. Nobody's heard that, by the way. That's a brand new track. Uh, maybe maybe we should play it for them later. I don't know. What do you think? That'd be cool. I support that. Also, what program are you using? Jake, what kind of tracker do you use? Oh, it's called Furnace Tracker. Um, it is, as I call it, the one tracker to rule them all. It's a brand new open source free free tracker. A lot of them are, but this one is like a collaboration of all the chip gods of all the different parts of the scene. Like I want Atari to sound good. I want 
Commodore 64 to sound good. I'm a Game Boy person, so that's important to me. And this one does it all at the same time. So you can combine two or ten different chips from different like video game systems from the 70s to today, and uh, it will sound good together because it's all it's meant to work as one thing. It used to be you had to learn like 20 different programs if you wanted to do different kinds of chip tunes or stuff. But this is a tracker. It's basically a musical spreadsheet that hang on once again. There you go. Um, it looks like a, it looks like it's Excel, but you can when you go down the rows, it makes sound. So it's uh, it's very convenient for composing stuff in a limited with limited resources like, you know, like I only have uh, three beepers like an ice cream truck. How do you make rock and roll in that? And this is the answer. This is one, one answer anyway. Uh, it lets you Tetris notes together. And you can make a song just with very, very simple input input commands and not really doing too much work. Um, let's see. But to get this stuff into the game, I have to render it, edit it into this file over here, and then send it over to Bridget, who will then... What do you do after that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm still getting the hang of like when it's my turn. Uh, yeah, so once Jake has made like a sound effect file that he's happy with, he's going to um, submit it so that it's um, like part of the repository and then I can grab it on my end from my desktop. Um, and then from there, I'm going to edit this file over here. So like we have... Um, kind of this handy dandy format that we use where basically I'm just going to paste in the name of um, the sound effect that he's made and you know the code is set up so that it kind of knows to read everything in this format and then once um, you know like for, for example if it's like the bone up sound I'm going to add it to like this little list of um, this list of sounds I'm going to add like the file name and then the actual name anyway once once it's kind of like just part of this format list, then I'm going to go into the right place in code and actually hook it up so that it plays at the right time, um, which is kind of, which is where the majority of the work for me actually is. Until until uh, we find out that I didn't give you clear instructions and it's like not playing at the right time, and then we got to go in and like frog detective it, figure out what's going yep. on. <laughs> Basically. I love Frog Detective. What a good idea! <laughs> we have to we have to 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 lighten it out. We have basically like figure out what's what's going what's going wrong. Why is it playing either at the wrong time or like it doesn't sound heavy enough or it's like playing twice because I didn't like make a thing for this other thing that it's now doing. There's a billion things that could that could go wrong with the implementation, but they're usually pretty easy to fix if you know what's causing them um, or know how to debug yeah. it and get to it. Uh... Like just as an example, um, that enemy that we were looking at earlier in my gym um, is called the pumpkin flyer. So if you get close enough, oh no, it was a lie. It was an enemy after all. Um, and so like at different points, it's playing sound effects. Here, Jake, we got to do that. Let's just do thing. that one. Now I, yeah. Let's just do that one first, I think, right? You want to just we tackle can, one? We can. Yeah, I was going to just talk about this one as an example. It's got a couple sound effects, which uh, might be temp. Here, I'm streaming on Discord. If you want to watch, so you can get my audio. All so right. we're doing the whole we're doing the whole juggling thing. Mm -hmm. Easy enough. All right, you're up. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. So now this you should be able to hear the sound effects from my game through the stream audio. So let us know if it's being weird. Um, so just as an example, like at different points, so like I've got the pumpkin flyer enemy code pulled up right now. Um, oops. This is like the whole file. Oopsies, hold on, I'm dragging all my windows. This is the whole file and um, usually at different points, depending on what the enemy is up to, we can play a sound. So like just as an example, um, when it rises, we're going to play a sound called wing flap. And if we just search for other places in the file, oh, hold on, um, maybe it's audio. Is that the only one? That might be the only like sound effect that it has right now. I think so. But anyway, we can add a bunch more. 
I think there's, oh yeah, so there's also a sound effect that happens um, when he shoots that little projectile and then it breaks. There's a sound. In my so I mind, I heard too. Super Mario Brothers fireball. Mm-hmm. Oh, just another note real quick. Um, when I'm playing the game, if it looks kind of funny, it's because I'm cheating. Um, we use like a bunch of cheats to test it. So for example, like I can be invulnerable. I can have infinite health. Um, you know, we can like kind of step one frame at a time. Um, we can like reload the game. We can reload the game over here. Um, we can fly. So if it looks kind of crazy, it's because I'm cheating. Yeah, whoever Trademark. says cheating doesn't help you in games, like doesn't doesn't know what's up. Um, so just for stream purposes, I've set up in my gym, which is like my test zone, a bunch of rooms that have different enemies in them, and we can kind of go through and make sound effects for each of them. There's also a couple objects, like this thresher thing that uh kind of digs up the soil. And then I don't know if we want to, but we can do probably do spring bellows too. It's this thing that like launches you. Gotta do a doof for it. Yeah, Eli's been Eli's been doing a lot on this thing. So, yeah, it's, and Jake, I think a, you have a copy of like my gym. Pomf. Locally. I got to do a pump yeah. for that. Uh, I also wanted to do a shout out to September. This is the level that we've been working on most recently. Um, you've probably seen us talking about it in some of our Kickstarter updates. Um, but like most of the enemies that we're going to be focusing on today are from this level. So you've got like the raccoon guy over here. Oops. Um, there's the raccoon guy, some other, some other secret NPC folks you might meet later. More raccoons, raccoon town. And this is all still kind of still in progress. Here's that pumpkin flyer we talked about earlier, but just, you kind of get the vibe of what the area is like. More raccoons. And every time I see all those like plants and all the produce up there, I'm like, oh, Stardew Valley. Wait, no, mm -hmm. wrong. <laughs> Not. Uh, <laughs> here's uh oh. Yep. Uh, so just to jump in a bit, since mm -hmm. we just like, mentioned her debugging tools, um, Doctor Blue wants to know: um, Do your debugging tools provide any vis visual aids when you're debugging sound effects, cues, timings, etc.? Um. Not unless I absolutely need it for something, and then I can bug a programmer to put in a little like debug display or something. But usually, if if I can't hear it like right away on something that's this minimal sound wise, uh, I have bigger problems. Like I can usually tell immediately if something's like off by a few frames or whatever. But if I'm like really going crazy and trying to and I can't sort it out, like I'll ask for debug help, or I'll just go into Visual Studio and put in a breakpoint myself and step through it until the sound effect plays and. You know, there are multiple ways for me to get to dig deeper if I need to, but I prefer not to have all that stuff distracting me because I'll just obsess over it. I'll basically min-max everything if I don't, uh, you know, focus on the the creative stuff. But yeah, I like I like to get debuggy when I when I need to, not not just generally. I also wanted to uh, just pause real quick that also um, Jasper's in uh, our audio. Oh, cool. If you want to say hi, Jasper. Jasper does lots of the um, audio programming backend for Mina, especially like particularly when it comes to um, like audio and music. Yeah. Jasper's been super getting all that work in. Yeah, they've been putting in like a whole bunch of uh, like new systems and like amazing technical things that I think only only we appreciate fully. But it's like, yeah. That's the kind of stuff that's wish list at a lot of studios where you're like, hey, it'd be cool if we can get this thing. And everyone's like, yeah, sure. Jasper's like, I'll, I'll file a bug with FMOD. They'll get back to it in five years. Yeah. No, <laughs> we, have, we have our own audio engine. So it's been really fun hooking yeah. a lot of this up and getting some of the stuff done. I think I posted like a, an example of a custom reverb effect that I did on my yep. Twitter a little while ago. Um, that was a ton of fun to work on. I basically was reversing, like, or not reverse engineering, I was researching like 80s and 90s DSP reverb effects to figure figure what to do. Um, so yeah, it's been a ton of fun to work on all this this custom audio tech. Um, it's a lot of like I am traditionally uh, in the, in the industry. I'm a, I'm an engine programmer and systems programmer. So getting the ability to do all this custom stuff is sort of a dream come true because a lot of the other games I've worked on have used like FMOD or WIs, um, and here we're writing all that from scratch. Um, which means that in some cases it's a lot more complicated because we don't have those off-the-shelf tools. Um, but in other cases, it means that we can really do the things that we want to do. And we talk a lot about like, well, 
there's nothing preventing us from doing like custom synthesis, like getting actual, you know, Game Boy sounds in or something like that, which is something like would be very tricky to do with like WUIs or FMOD. Yeah, yeah, that would be, you'd spend more time wrestling with the interface of the program <laughs> than you actually do creating anything. Once it gets to that point where I'm like, I have to like figure out workarounds around the software more than yeah. I'm actually making stuff. That's when I'm like, all right, notepad, let's just do this. Uh, yeah. Let's get her done. I will, I will also say that you just said spend more time making, figuring out how the tool works. That's literally me and trackers. I cannot use those things. <laughs> well, yeah, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty, I'd say Byzantine. They're, uh, they're very, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of tradition and history that goes into why they're this way. And a lot right. of it is really nitpicky fools like me going, oh, why do we have to do this? And then the dev is right there in the channel with you. It's, mm -hmm. it's almost like today's transparent dev environment was like, that was yeah. already a thing in the demo scene. You could just yell at him and be yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Why do you have to Definitely. hit control F instead of control shift F in this case? You know? <laughs> so. I totally get that. And I, I love trackers and I love seeing what you do with them, but I, I will never understand them ever. Um, and I'm someone that, that like makes music every so often. So like <laughs> I have that background. I just definitely know the terminology. Well, it's, it's in here. It's just a, it, this is the script of instructions. That's all it is. They're basically machine instructions yep. abstracted or wrapped around stuff. But if you can think of it as a timed assembly script, it makes a lot more sense mm -hmm. when you're manipulating registers directly instead of volume values. It's like, I'm just setting this register to this value and I, and it sounds like this. <laughs> So it becomes you start to see the matrix after a while. Um, so all right, mm -hmm. here on this on this screen, let me show you what I'm actually uh, doing here. So you keep seeing this Factorio background. This is my other tracker. When I'm not <laughs> on the clock, I'm making like weird computers in Factorio uh, to do music stuff. Um, but uh, here we have a Game Boy and the MSX uh, SCC chip. Uh, and that's a whole bunch of acronyms that I'm not sure if anybody knows what they mean, but um, the MSX is an old Japanese computer. Um, it's sort of a computer standard like IBM PCs were back in the day, uh, but it's mostly popular in Japan and Europe and a little bit in Brazil. Um, and it has all kinds of cool sound chips that were add-ons in cartridge form. You could like buy a cart and it had like a sound chip in it that changed, that made Metal Gear sound incredible instead of, you know, just the, the regular beepers that the computer came with. Um, so the SCC was one of these. Uh, if anybody out there has ever followed me before, you know I'm crazy about Konami. Uh, and this was their invention, basically. They, they, they invented a whole bunch of expansion chips for the Nintendo um, and like the VRC6, which was used in Shovel Knight. Um, and this one was for the MSX computer, and it's not as well known as the NES or the VRC, but everyone who knows it is like, yeah, SCC. It has this like super rich sound. It's the sound of Mina the Hollower as it exists right now. Um, it's it, my friend son, said it sounds like Rust would sound. I'm like, I'm cool with that. It's like very <laughs> haunted in a way. That just like nice buzzy timbre. You can make it whatever you want with custom waveforms, which is, oh. which is this. Like nothing sounds that lush except a wavetable. It's like the best. All right, I'm going to stop messing around. Let's make some sound effects. What do you think, Bridget? Sounds good. Um, God, I love the SEC. Uh, <laughs> what did you say, Jasper? God, I love the SEC sound. Like, it's just such a, it's very lush sound. It's like, it's butter. It's mm -hmm. like the Turbo Graphics, but deluxe. Mm-hmm. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. No, no, no thanks uh, for hopping in. I'm in my reverie moment right now. I'm just like, ah. Uh, but, but now we have two chips to play with for sound effects and I got to figure out what I want them to what I want the timbres to be in there is I have a bit of choice paralysis about the the sound palette that I've tweaked these were originally my instruments from the uh the songs that I've been writing but I kind of tweaked them to be more general purpose for sound effects so what do you want to start with um 
probably any of these enemies, just hoping to like fly cheat through to give you a vibe, which I kind of did earlier. So I think we're probably pretty much set. Do we want to show the house? No, no, no. I do, but nobody else because it's not quite there yet. It's on our, it's on our fair game list. <laughs> is it on our fair game list? I kind of want to save. It. Let's save it for last. Let's do it. Let's start with Rocket okay. and work our way up. Okay, we'll do it. We'll see if we can make it. Uh, <laughs> there's a couple other things that like we could show, but I feel like yeah. Let, let's let's see how much time we have. Let's go through the through like. Through like raccoon and pumpkin flyer, and if we have some time, or like when it gets to the end, we can show off the cooler things. Let's let's save a little bit of mystique. Okay, Reg, yeah, wants to see the house. <laughs> release the house. We'll <laughs> we'll release the house later. Um, yeah, like like technically, like there's lots of stuff in um, you know, like in the trailer that's now pretty fleshed out in the game, which like we could show, but it's fun to kind of leave some of it a mystery. So I think the yeah. house is like more fair game to me. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so, but I think it's fine if we kind of do some enemies first. So, Jake, we've got the pumpkin flyer, the boar, raccoon, and some, the, the corvidin, or we kind of call them the huntsman. Do you have any preference about what we start with? Let's get the flyer going. All right, flyer it is. Um, And you should have a copy of my gym on your setup if you feel like playing it, but I'm happy to just kind of play with it and show you what he does. This is it. We, right now he's using the bone bird sound effects. Yep. Yeah. I need yeah. a I need a um jump out of the ground. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier. So the, mm -hmm. so the the first sound effect is when he jumps out of the ground. Otherwise, he's silent. The projectile that he shoots has um it plays a sound like when it breaks, but otherwise this guy's pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. But he, he spits at you Octorok style. Yeah. All right, I want the pulling out of the ground to sound uh, um actually no, I'm not sure if I want the mandrake or that to sound more like a pikmin you know that that like squeaky oh i forgot pop. i forgot i added the mandrake to my to my gym too we've got an exploding one and the um the sound one i don't know if we want to approach those two yeah 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 um we might be able to well this is less less of a plucking out of the ground and more of a just bursting out of the ground but it's still a vegetable coming out of the ground so i'm already in that pikmin mood here it is in slow -mo. Ooh. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> yeah, there needs to be the tiniest little squeak in the beginning. All right, let me let me uh, show you how how we do this. Okay, so the first thing you do is you make the squeak. All right, wait, 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 wait. This needs to be like maximum turbo speed. Not even fast enough. Where we're going, it's impossible to drive straight. To the drift dimension. Alright, good, 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 good. I need to, like, not have this following, uh, what is it? Control H? Control F? Nope. Control J? What did I set it to? Alright, alright. Just the follow controls. Sorry, I'm having like, where's all my uh, stuff because I resized the screen issues. One second. Yep, that's why. On my end, I'm just going to read through the pumpkin flyer code so I get a better idea about where we might be editing. Cool. Yeah, that's that's a good idea, basically, like figuring out where the, the hooks are to actually trigger the sound. Are we going to have a twit, 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 twit while flying? Sort Not of. constantly, but I'm going to build <laughs> it into the into the emerging sound. Got it. I yeah, it's probably a, a difficult call about like when to play sounds continuously so that you just yeah. don't go nuts. We could definitely do a thing where like if if any pumpkin flyer is flying, it plays the loop, but doesn't like play multiple loops at the same time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I didn't know if we wanted to, you know, my raffle copter goes, goes soy or whatever. Well, sometimes thank it's you, cool thank to, you, Jasper. To... 
<laughs> Sometimes it's it's cool to like have a change direction sound if they're like. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's not a bad idea. But it gets oh. annoying really fast if it's a constantly cycling enemy on a patrol loop. It's like. <laughs> we found that in dig like if we had things bouncing that were like boulders that kept going back and forth it was like constant cacophony in the background which so we have to have things silent that sh that you would think would be a bug that should have a sound but you don't want a sound there actually mm -hmm. all right so i'm making the um i had to expand my effects columns because because reasons uh the reason is i'm out of room trying to squeeze everything in so I gotta find the effect for and instrument editor. Oh, it's in the help menu. I've been down this road before. Okay. So I need to be able to all right, all these things on the right hand side of the screen that you're looking at right now are all the effects or instructions that I can tell a note to do or a channel. Channels are the stripes, so the vertical columns. Um so any of these effects with the x, x, or x, y is replaced by hexadecimal numbers will make it do something cool, like jumping to a different page or setting the, in this case, setting the waveform. Check out this. So if I turn off the thing, you hear that? That's a normal Game Boy or sound. What if I change this to two? It does absolutely nothing. So I got to actually figure out why. One sec. <laughs> Software envelope macros. All right, let me actually read the, that's why, because I'm setting the waveform and not the duty cycle. One, two, oh, one. Hear that? Now hear this? Mm -hmm. What? It sounds all different. That's because the Game Boy's pulse channels, the the chiptune beepers, can be one of four duty cycles. And what that means is... That's the pulse width, right? Yep, okay. pulse width. Yeah, yeah. It's the percentage of the waveform that's on or off. It's higher or yeah. low. So, all right, this over here is a waveform. It sounds... That's a sawtooth. This is a square wave. Sounds pretty. Sounds that's like a, a Game Boy. That's a alias. That's alias as hell. That's well, an alias crunchy sound wave. Yes, it is. Square wave, yeah. But if you make it like this instead, roughly twenty-five percent. Okay. Now it sounds like the other kind of Nintendo sound. And if you make it even more dramatic, so it's only on for like twelve point five percent. It sounds like the other other Nintendo sound. So that's how you get all those different timbres. Um, that's how one beeper can sound like a bunch of different instruments, or sound like singing, or sound like a mm -hmm. you know a heart monitor or a, a profanity sensor, or whatever you want to beep. You can beep it uh, in different ways. So this, however, uh, skips all that and sets it explicitly. It's just like I want this duty cycle. Mm -hmm. For this note and anything under it, so set it to that. So, so if we I do set have... it to, so I'm gonna set nice. it to that, and then make it a giant sweep. That that there you go. basically is drum. how you make a. You're right, but that's too much for like a plant coming out of the ground. So I have to make it like more subtle, and that doesn't work because of this reason. turn this back on there you go okay so we have two components of the sound now you, you notice there's a and then a so that basically times out to that first like shaking motion and then the popping right out so i can even add more to this by making noise Jake, are you trying to make a specific sound effect right yep. now, or is it like more of a tour? I'm making the pumpkin uh, jumping out. Oh, okay, cool. This is like the the emerge sound. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. One of the many channels that will I imagine be going into this thing. I would say um, I'm going to keep it at like 
maybe one or two, maybe three. I try to keep it. Oh, I do as much know. as I can with as little as I can, and then lush it. it out in the polish phase, or if it even needs it, because you don't want to. You don't want to crowd the pan too mm -hmm. much. Sure, fair enough. Right, I, think so. your, I think your noise is essential, though. Noise is absolutely essential. This is white noise. And that's the familiar sound of the Game Boy. Mm -hmm. yep. And I can make it do melodies the same way you can do with a melodic pitch. So I can be like... And you also, like, does the noise channel support all those same effects? Can you sweep it up and down and do portamentos and... Let's find oh, out that's... right now. In some <laughs> trackers, yes, and others, no. Yeah, it was, I, I didn't know if you tested this with Furnace already. Hey, Jake, do you actually want a sound for when it changes direction? That'll just require more thinking on my part. So, okay. Not for this particular <laughs> enemy. <laughs> okay, I didn't know if I should be, like, starting to think through that. Thanks. It's a little too loosey-goosey to have a definite moment, which I think makes it more jerky. Uh, yeah. Do you mind if I answer some questions that have come up in in chat a little bit, or yeah, yeah, at least relay them? I mean, as you see, I'm like I'm super like laser yeah. focused, so I'm not even looking at it most of the time. But I, I yeah, try to. I don't want to distract you. Yeah, Jasper, if you've got answers to some music questions, that'd be super. Uh, so yeah, Adeline says something about Sunsoft games. They have excellent stuff. They had one fun fact. They had one sound chip, one custom sound chip. I can't remember what it's called. Something like the five. D or something, and yeah, they only um, used it 5B. for one game. The 5B, thank Jake knows. They only used it for one game, which was Gimmick for the NES, which, and I don't even think they used like half of the power of that sound chip. Classic memories. Um, the sound chips basically all, they were done to do a job on, on a deadline, and not a hobbyist have like infinity time to exploit yeah. it. We're finding all kinds of new tricks. It's like, wow, did you know that you could customize this yeah. or that? And the... Adeline also asks, what's the feeling when it comes to PCM sounds? Uh, and relying on them for more than just drums, do you try and avoid them and replicate a desired sound with like noise channels and other channels, or do you use the PCM at some points? I don't even know if the, G the Game Boy has a PCM channel, does it? It I has mean, a it has wave, it wave, has wave, wave table but... channel, so it definitely has a PCM channel. You have guess, to yeah. change the wave table, you know, a few thousand <laughs> times per second, but that's yeah. how you get stuff like LSDJ with sampled drums. Right. Um, sure. That can also be done in the MSX, but because it's so costly CPU-wise, it's, I mean, sparingly at best. And honestly, right. anytime I incorporate crappy sounding lo-fi samples into something, it grunges the entire sound up. So mm -hmm. sparingly and for texture. In Mina, I'm going to take extra advantage of that lo-fi grunge um, and make that the sort of ghostly electrified sort of mm -hmm. energy sound for the plot related stuff later on. Um, but if I'm trying to make something clean and I put in PCM samples, it's like, and then that's yeah. all I ever get out of it. It's I hear the hash, and it annoys me enough to like take it out and make it in the triangle wave instead or something. Um, all right, so let me let me get this one finished and rendered out so Bridget has something to do real quick. Hang on. Cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Do you want me to just kind of work in the background and then I can show you? I can I, I can pause and show you my work. Uh, yeah. I mean. I can, I'm probably going to start on the next one as you start on that one, yeah. so we're not bothering you with code stuff, unless you want to talk through the coding process on one or two, and then I'm going to put yeah. one more I mean, it's... thing in this, and then we'll be good. This one's going to be pretty straightforward. <laughs> uh, so why don't you why don't you do a few, and just let me know when you've, like, if you just keep submitting them, um, I can sync those and throw them in. And do a little tour of what yeah. I worked on. But honestly, my little tour earlier of like, I edit this text file on the left and then I paste in where to play the sound in code land. I feel like that's what happens 50% of the time <laughs> in terms of like uh, how tricky yeah. it is. A lot of them are pretty straightforward just because of the way that we've set up the state machines. And I think a lot of there are some cases where we have like loops playing, but I don't think we're gonna do much of that today. Like the burrow loop. Yeah, those are those are always yeah. way trickier. <laughs> yeah. Two one two one two one two one. Yeah, in in uh, in code land, our enemies and objects. I think all of our enemies and probably most of our objects, um, 
are implemented behind the scenes using state machines, meaning that like we organize like the enemy's behavior into like distinct states with rules about when to do one thing or another thing. So like in code, for example, with the pumpkin flare, there's like a really distinct, you know, chunk of code that's just for when the pumpkin flyer like rises out of the ground um and so that makes it really easy to just like paste in where the sound effect should go so a lot of it because it's kind of organized in that way already a lot of the time it's not too difficult to kind of know where to put sound effects in yeah you kind of already have the idea all right let me make that squeak a little more subtle so it goes instead of <laughs> and if you want to um i mean i can do a tour of like pasting this one in or i'm happy if you just want to submit it and then go on to the next one i'm happy to just throw it in and then show you when it's done yeah let's do that i'm going to cut this one off here no c isn't the right effect is it hang on gotta um, look at your effects list yeah it's <clears throat> yeah this tr retrigger uh what is stop song it was C in Family Tracker. Stop song, FFXX. Final Fantasy uh, Zero. Cool. All right, so that's a really quickly, hastily done sound effect that I probably would spend more time on if I weren't trying to get this going. Let us export audio. Seems like it works for now. Ship it. We'll call this SFX Pumpkin uh emerge sound good i think sean and i actually came up with all of the file names for this already but i don't have the the thing up so just for this batch i'll, I'll wing it on that uh let's... are you how are you transferring the wave files across well i'm about to show you oh. i have soundforge open here let me foreground it hey okay now I can Jake, did you submit that one? No no no, I'm I'm editing it right now. One second. Cool. Ernest Mina it's, Yeah, it's in that one. Okay. Okay, so that's the thing we just made. So that's what it looks like in waveform form. Now there's two problems with this that we can't get into the game in this current form. One is that it's quiet as heck. You see it's only taken up part of the waveform, that's a lot of wasted headroom. You don't want everything to be slammed, but when possible, reduce volume in software instead of in the data. Um, and the second thing is stereo. What is this? 2003? Um, we got to do something about that. So there's two ways to do that. You can either save it differently or do what I like to do and just do a channel converter. And then process normalize. Now we're full height, even turbo height. Yeah. And then now it's nice and loud. I could do stuff like fade out the end of it if I want it to, if it's like popping at the end or something. But it seems fine. Just for sanity's sake. Zero crossings are our friends. Let's see if there's a DC offset. There's like all these little, yeah, tiny one, I don't care. There's all these little forensic things you can do before it gets into the programmer's hands that will make them hate you and themselves less. Like, that waveform looks like a mess to me. Yeah, it's <laughs> disgusting. So so dc offsetted oh my god yep. it's it's so offsetter i uh... but that's the output of of the thing and i know i know that's just what old chips do <laughs> yeah. it, it's this one in particular is uh grotesque look at that 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 has no reason to to be this. yeah that's uh that's electricity is what that is right there it's like a signal uh, yeah. okay so it's done let's put it in the game y'all I have to navigate on my side too. You can't see this because I'm going through all kinds of hidden government folders. Um, it's in resources, sounds, SFX. Mm -hmm. And now, I've added it to SVN, which is our version control software. Oh, there you go. And then I'm typing in a little thing, stream test. <laughs> Pumpkin time. So the rest of the team will, will know what that ad, what that edition was all about. They're like, why did Jake add a WAV file? What are his evil plans? Yeah, and so on my end, I'm refreshing that 
folder within the repository and I can see that Jake has submitted pumpkin time. So now I can sync this folder and get that file locally and then add it to the game. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you for filling in subversion comments. Not everyone does that. I was, I, I, I witnessed Casper, lectures. Casper, you don't about... always do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fix builds. Uh, I'll sometimes just write like, yeah, oops. That's such a funny comment. I'm that guy okay. who's like always like observing all the programmer nitpicks and preferences. So I'm like, by osmosis, I'm learning what not to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very helpful. I, I write these giant commit messages and then I'll break the build and I'll just do one that's just a little, just like fix yeah. right, right after. All right, just, Jake. Yep. And just to sanity check, you are tuned into my game on the Discord. You're not streaming, Bridget. Oh, I no. Am. Hang on. It's because I got disconnected. One second. Oh, here, but you should be able to... Like, my game audio is being picked up on Jake's and Jasper through oh. Discord because it, it's just a whole complicated mess. It glitches out if we try to do it. Dang natively. it, and I close the stream anyway. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Here, here, Jake, we reconnect to this. You good. And then you should be able to hear the audio. Cool. Okay. It's a so... little quiet. Can you turn it up on just the game and the Windows mixer? Hold on. Uh, did I do something? Or is there sound effects volume in the game that we could? I don't. I don't think there's. I don't. I don't know about sound effects volume. Uh, there is. Jasper, it's, it's in the options menu. You have to go and turn it up. It's in the in the gyms menu. Yeah, it's just our voices are way louder than the sound effects, and I can't turn them up individually because. Unfortunately, Bridget, you. Stop the stream again. I know. Hold on. I'm building assets. I think it was. Okay. I don't think it. I don't think it picked up like the new Got sound. It. So just to be sure. So every time that we um, like that somebody submits assets, mm -hmm. we just gotta build them. Let's see. Yeah, uh -oh. the, the most common thing in a game dev environment is get latest, get latest, get the latest source. <laughs> if you're not up to date, then the thing you're complaining about is probably either already fixed or at least known about. So Did I misspell pumpkin or emerge? Am I crazy? Yeah. Here, Jake, go either back to you your site. Don't did. watch me fix this bug. Hold on. Okay, okay. Hold on. I probably misspelled something. Uh... Uh-oh, I moved the file, so it's like, yeah... This this version of Soundforge is like twelve years old or something. I, it's I have an update. They're on like thirteen now. I used four point five for years and still it stopped working until it stopped working. That's do like you, do you need help, Bridget? Or I don't know. Let me double check. I didn't misspell anything. I feel crazy. All right. I'll I'll let you know. Hold on. I might maybe I have to like build assets clean. Maybe it's confused. I will go over a few more uh, questions in the Discord. Oh yeah, let's talk. Let's talk to the Discord. What's up? Yeah. Um, so I believe I saw a question way back when from Shadowhog that asked um, if you. So are the duty cycles on Game Boy just like the ones on the NES, where like seventy-five and twenty-five percent are like inverses of each other? Uh -huh. Can you set that? And if you play both of them on different channels at the same time, does it totally cancel out sound? Totally sounds all weird. It doesn't fully cancel, <laughs> but it's a, it does right. sound like it. Uh, that's probably because they're they're not phase locked. I don't think so. You're gonna get some kind of constructive yeah. interference, but mostly destructive. Yeah, it's. Uh, I almost never use the third one like ever. Unless yeah. I'm doing flanging, which is kind of what it's for, like doubling stuff. Mm -hmm. Anytime I, it's it's like the Waluigi of the channels. It only exists as a counterpoint to the first one, to the second mm -hmm. one. It's basically uh, it's useless out of context. So yeah, it's it's still there, and it's um, yeah. They just I think the Game Boy just sounds a little flimsier, <laughs> if you will. It's thinner sounding overall. And this is Pro Sound mod it. Something weird that I learned about the Game Boy Sound thing is that the channels are mixed analog. There's a separate DAC for each channel on the Game Boy, and they mix them in analog, which seems hilarious to me. But I guess that was the cheapest way to do it back then. Yep, yep. Whatever circuit they built was... Uh, and then it carried over into the Game Boy Advance, and then even into their, I guess, emulation of it on the DS. It's like... The chip stuff on handhelds has always been really uh, touchy. 
the, the Game Boy Advance is all is all digital now. The game they they reworked it for the Game Boy Advance, but the GB the original Game Boy the Game Boy Color were had the analogs had each channel doing its own DAC and then mixed analog. But yeah, after that it was all digital. And yeah, the but their DACs are always like they leave they they're challenging to work with it because no matter how high quality you go into them with, it's just like it just sounds like you know noise yeah. after you're done with it. There was one fun thing I learned, which is that um, there was uh, the, the Game Boy Advance has a sound chip that's all digital, but it turns out that early emulators didn't properly emulate it and added certain aliasing. And there's like a weird buzz that's added. Uh, and that only happens if you use like a very specific emulator. But there are several actual pressed CDs of soundtracks that you can find that have that buzz in there, which is <laughs> tells you that they were... When they were like recording the the audio for their official soundtrack CDs, they used this one emulator. It no came down whatever. to be. <laughs> it was it was um, this Mume. Sorry, this was this was for the DS, not for the GBA. So, yeah. Hey, quick note. Yeah. Uh, I just had I just had to build assets clean, so it's working on my end. Oh, cool, cool, um, cool. yay! Cool, cool. So cool. You back up? Jake, do you? F uh, yeah, I'm back up. I see Cosmic Gem. Hey, Jake, can you please right-click the two plus symbols next to Shem? No, I'm leaving that. I'm leaving that there in case I suddenly need new effects channels and I don't want to remember the shortcut to do that because there is one, but I don't remember it. And still learning Furnace, so I'm going to be like... But now I don't like that there's no dividers between them because I can't see where one effect ends. It's just like all the dots and you have to like count in your without counting you know ah. here jake will you will you tune into my share thing on discord real quick so you can hear it you got it uh so yeah when you're ready all right i'm up cool okay so here it is yo, Whoa, yo. What? all right i need to make the boop of him popping out way more prevalent um, the other thing too is that once it actually starts flying, that's a separate effect. So then it's gonna play that same effect that we were hearing before if we play it. Let's see. So those two things are actually two separate moments. Let's see the two so like, together in sequence. Okay. Actually, so it like does. That. Yeah, it does play that sound like only when it starts flying, and then the rest of it's quiet. It sounds pretty good. I could make a custom sound just for that, the starting to fly thing. And then we also need a spitting sound when it... Whoop. Oh, sure. So Is there is there any case where the pumpkin rises up and doesn't immediately go into fly state? Um, I remember what it was like might, a pumpkin flyer. Yeah, remember. there might be a prop for that. Hold on. I know there is a prop that you can set so that pumpkin flyer just starts in the air and flies there around. Okay, there's like a min and a max. I don't. Uh, okay. On. I was just thinking, like, if this is guaranteed, it might get a little monotonous. But yeah, it's not. It's it seems fine to me. I don't see a prop for it starting. Mm -hmm. Um, already flying. Maybe that's like the min max. Maybe that's. Uh, stream uh, Discord says the, the game audio is still pretty quiet. Uh, Jake, make sure that in your Discord stream like view, you have your au the audio of the stream pulled up all the way. It is. It's also our voices, so it would be. It's that the game itself is much quieter than the voice, and that's on Bridget's right. end. So you got to change it in the game, or turn the voice down, and it'll turn everything up. Or I could just put on a dynamic compressor next time and not have this <laughs> issue. I totally um, forgot. I got the noising on, but not compression. You can check Here. the uh, the options menu, Bridget, if you want. Am I yeah, doing that's, F10? that's the only um, real solution that we... Wait, which options menu? Uh, the one in the in the game menu. Like, the one in... If you go to the left side, debug menu, right? It's just menus, options menu. That's the only place you can adjust it right now. Oh, that's hilarious. And you can set oh. SFX all the way up. <laughs> The actual sound effects menu for the game that's so awesome okay and that'll yeah, save if i just go back to my gym yeah it just effect it, it modifies your config file yep that's louder now that's why i love that's this fantastic group. that's why i love oh, this so group. funny the game hasn't <laughs> so even funny. shipped yet and there's already a sound <laughs> menu in it um, <laughs> like a month ago 
Here, I think I think if we set it's not if we set the max prop secretly to like negative one, it will start an idle. Um, got it. Got it. Oh, hold on. Let me build this over. Here. Oops. Here's what I'm doing, by the way. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, here I I changed it in my gym to be using that prop so that um, if we like start, he's already flying. But then it still plays that effect. Like it seems like that sound gets played when he like starts to aggro and fly after you. So it's not like a. This um, is like activation mm -hmm. sound. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's an evil flying sound. Yeah, that's fine then. Oh, AC three. Hi, what's up? Long time no see. I just noticed. I was like, oh, oh hey, I haven't seen you in like forever. Let us know if the audio if we need to pump up the sound effects even more. Yeah, it should be improved, but evidently I can just go into the menu and do it, which is so cool. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, we don't have any way of like entering the menu other than debug, yeah. but... <laughs> yeah, like, do you, do you guys want to see like the, the fake credits? Oh, no. oh, that's, that's so funny. <laughs> not yet. Not today. That's I so think funny. there's still like there's still temp names in there, which I don't think we could show. So I would do that. But yeah. No, definitely not. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people in that list that have not that like either don't exist or aren't aren't the right folks to thank for this particular game. Um, Jake, are you which sound effect are you working on now? Um, the flying one. It's almost done, actually. Oh, that like. That aggro fly. Yep. Cool. I'm gonna put a. Oh. Let me switch over to my screen real quick, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. What I'm gonna try to do is put a tremolo on this, and I'm not sure if it's actually gonna work on the Game Boy channels, but I can also somewhat fudge it with just a bunch of numbers. But I'd rather not. Yeah, I don't think it's. It may not work on the Game Boy channels. That's fine. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, it's, Discord is saying we should put the SFX up to max. Okay. I would double-check, like, Jake, make sure... I have it on my side, and I have the Discord audio turned up, and it mm -hmm. sounds good to me. Here, so I would double check. completely turned up. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, Jake. Totally... Maxed. In in Discord though, do you have the volume of the stream set to max? That's what I'm right clicking on, and it's okay. set to max. Then I don't have any more ideas. It sounds good. You don't right click. You hover over the stream preview. Oh oh oh. Problem solvers over here. Try it now. All right. Won't be able to hear any differences. On my yeah, on my end, it's also just 100. percent But yeah, so we're gonna have to wait for YouTube stream lag to tell us. No, it's totally way freaking louder now. So I can see the meters. Okay, cool, good. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to our world. Uh, There's like uh... ten different places you can adjust the volume of the audio before it gets <laughs> to the viewers. That's called gain staging, and you want to keep it to a minimum because this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's like, where is it in quieting and in, in quieting the sound? Okay. All right, so I almost have. Uh -oh. What's the uh oh? You're making me nervous. Jake trailed off mid sentence. I don't know if you got cut. <laughs> Nope, I just went. I went nuts on. Um, I. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, you can't hear it because I'm because I'm not piping the. the we can audio hear like some Discord. of it. We can hear yeah, some, yeah, yeah. not all of it. I don't know why. But yeah. Uh, there's there's a lot of trickery going on. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I won't ask. I won't ask. I'm just here to <laughs> enjoy the ride on the inside. Yeah, it sounds like next time to fix it, we might need. We might use like a third <laughs> computer. Oh, I think boy. we should just honestly we should just use our phones because we have Discord on them and mm. headsets. You know and... what? Jake, we should just we should just work on the same computer with like a super wide display and like on the left you can have your tracker and like a on the right. Keyboard. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> what was it? Wasn't yeah. there that, that CSI? Was it CSI or NCIS that had that? That was like two people on one keyboard. Oh my gosh. I think at the yeah, same time. Like hunting and pecking for the. They want, they need to hack the, the, the person faster. So they did two people on one keyboard. Oh my gosh. Does it get smarter than that? I don't think it does. <laughs> yeah, it was in CIS. Four, 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 five. <laughs> okay, cool. I finished this one. Let's export it. Yep, I'll take it. And then if you want to start on the next one, I'm happy, happy to tell you when it's ready. Um, this one is gonna I mean, be besides, SFX. besides, oh, right, because the other one was going to be that, like, that shoot yeah, projectile the, the, the sound. The spitting, the spitting image. Cool. Okay, and I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can, I'll see if I can build assets without having to um, stop the little Discord stream. Cool. This whole thing is so painful. <laughs> it's like... Look at this Whoa. at the end. Look at that. That's delicious. That is me turning the sound off and the Game Boy's like <clears throat> it's like a hiccup in the chip. So that goes away. If I didn't have that in there, I would get a bug. Jake, there's a weird pop at the end of the sound and I'd be like, uh and I'd look at it and be like, ah. Again. Even this, what is this even? Why does it start at maximum intensity? It's like zero to a hundred. So we gotta get rid of all of that. This technically breaks it being chip authentic because we're doing more volume levels than the 16, but I don't care. Jake, this is oh. Furnace Tracker, right? Uh-huh. Cool. All right, we're done with that. Let's put it up. Ship it. On, like the audio tool that Jake is using is called like SoundForge. It was like a thing. It was a thing from like 2003. It was um, a thing from 1995. <laughs> I, I was using it in 99. Like when I could mm -hmm. finally afford to buy it uh, when I was, it was a kid. <laughs> it was it was a competitor to Cool Edit 2000 or one of those things. Man, that was no competition though. Soundforge was amazing. <laughs> There's still Wave Lab right now is great. Uh, if you're on the Mac still, side, watch your Pro is still around. Um, I can't so, believe all those still exist. You have to edit sound in a in a surgical precise way, and you can't do it in a DAW. It's just like mm -hmm. it's like performing brain surgery with a butter knife. <laughs> all right. Or pumpkin sounds or the stream. I mean, Hooray. yeah. If it's simpler for you, feel free to just write like stream. Oh no, it's simpler for me to be loquacious than to be brief. That's a problem sometimes. You know, cool, and I've got it on my end. And this will be easy. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, that I I was gonna say, like you Blue never <laughs> I know. Never utter that on a stream ever. I know. A couple times, like I've been dumb enough to say, like, "Oh, that'll be easy. Time me." <laughs> that that always goes really well. If this isn't working in one try, I'll eat my hat. And you're just like with the fork and yeah. knife later. <laughs> Thankfully, it was a fruit hat. That's why I always wear a fruit hat to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw I saw a Deus Ex meme. I'm about it. Ugh. Okay. Every time. I don't think I can build assets for sound while having the game run. It just like won't. Yes, do it. that's correct. You okay, can't do so it while the game is live. You okay. can end the stream, restart it, or you. Yeah, we might want to fix that at some point. But yeah, that's all right. The, the 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 game, the game since the game keeps streaming audio from disc, and it's one of the few assets that it streams it in rather than loading once. It keeps a it keeps a lock on that file. We should eventually make it so that you can reload at runtime by like. You signal the game to say like, "Hey, close down," and then reload audio or something. Here, Jake, do you want to do the um, the shoot one two? And oh then yeah, I yeah, you I both completely of them? forgot because I was all enraptured and like, "Oh, <laughs> learning stuff and listening to my." <laughs> Maybe I should have been doing thing. a better job learning stuff. Sorry, I was. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's uh, <laughs> building I just, assets. I'm just like, "Ooh, shiny, shiny, cool knowledge." It's like I'm in college. Right. Okay, so yeah, we can spit. Oops, sorry. Yeah, the fly one's already ready to go. Work. So let's do the shooting. Cool. I'll find. I'll, oh, because that, that projectile's gonna be like a separate class, so I gotta go find that. Oh, I can just set the speed. How do I set the speed? Uh, oh, 09. Oh, that sucks. I gotta. <laughs> yeah, because the projectile that the pumpkin flyer spits is actually its own separate class with probably its own separate state machine. Look at that. And it's gonna play its own separate sound. Ah, 
I don't think it needs to. I think you could do it when the when the pumpkin flyer spits. Yeah. Um, but I, I still have to like remove. Oh, okay. So it's, um, yeah, it's got a sound that it's playing when it breaks, which we can edit. Yeah. But you're you're yeah. right that I can just I can just edit like the pumpkin flyer itself when it does the spit part. Or or you could edit this when it goes into idle first thing. Um, so I'm gonna also, Julian had a question from the Discord. Um, Julian says, I've got a question about the larger game sound design. I do enjoy the limitations of the hardware coming through, so I'm curious how many sounds might be reused across different situations. Or if you're planning on making unique sounds for every single thing. Oh, cool we're complete. Way. I feel like it's fair to say we're cheaters. Uh, no, no, no. We're, um, no? Uh, we are um, inefficiency avoiders. Why make the same exact white noise for like 300 different sounds? Uh, yeah, exactly. I ran into this. Basically, I've only done two two types of games previously: a billion sounds and like thirty sounds. Yeah. And so even like Shantae stuff, I was able to just wait. Dig had like a fair number of sounds. Shovel Knight Dig, this is uh, I'm talking about, yeah. had a fair number of sounds, but we already had like eight hundred of them from the original game. Uh, yeah. So I was remaking stuff that I knew I made better in like 2013. For sure, I already made it with the same exact like chip components. It's a different synthesizer, but it's the same white mm -hmm. noise, basically. And and so I was like yeah. totally reinventing the wheel. And uh, and so we had a whole big pass where we would go through the list of anything missing and plug stuff in that was already done in the library. Um, and so at the end of the game, all those sounds become a palette to fill in gaps. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'll tell the programmers like put three sounds on on this. Use yeah. Fireball 01 Turtle and yeah. then after three frames play Impact Steel Bricks and then you know so on until we have a, a new sound made out of three existing ones and so that's another way to do it. You really have to wing it when you yeah. don't just want to make a billion new things. We, right, we so also sometimes put in temp sounds. We have to keep, keep aware of that and make sure that Jake still has like the ability to do a final pass. Bridget also mentioned that like we had this random sound that played whenever the projectile broke from the pumpkin flyer. That is actually literally just two sounds played on top of each other. Rock underscore break and throwing axe underscore land played yeah. at the same time to do the break sound. Effect. So we will do a lot of that all over the course of the game. But sometimes we might revisit it and say like, well, we should probably work out this temp thing or replace it with something else. Anyway, Bridget. No, I, I, that's basically what I was going to say. I was like, there's a bunch of places in code where you're like, mm -hmm. oh, when the player does this, it's the rock sound. Yeah. All right. That, that's, that happens in like a bunch of different places just because it just ha happens to sound right. Yeah. And Jake usually is the one, we had a whole document when we were, when we were doing this a few months ago where he basically went through every single thing in the game and it just came up with like, play this one, this one, this one, play the last half of this one, start on this PCM sample and play this one, right? And just like, just trying to staple together as many of these as we can. Um, and we're, I mean, it, 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 I think it works well. I don't think you have to be too... Is there um, like a, is there like a more impressive word than staple? <laughs> Like, grafts graft. godric is grafted <laughs> grafts graft no not no cra with a c craft oh i thought you were saying no, no that's i'm graft. not i'm not going that gothic <laughs> okay okay uh finished and putting in the thing i got pumpkin spit Woo, that's a bunch of pumpkin spit <laughs> is it literally just called pumpkin spit it's sfx underscore pumpkin underscore spit Dot cool, wave. I've already I've already beat you to it. Dot wave dot vqf dot mp2. <laughs> VQF. Yeah, right. I went there. Dot real player. Dot rm. <laughs> okay, I gotta add it. We're old. The joke is that we're old and we remember computers from the nineties. I'm basically an old neckbeard. Um, <laughs> let's commit. Pumpkin spitting. Woo. Hey, it's been an hour. I'm happy to go like a while, but uh -huh. do we Just house question mark? What do we want to do? Let's get pumpkin spit wrapped up. Let's get pumpkin fly wrapped up. We see how we, we feel about it. And then let's move on to raccoon, and then we'll see how long that takes. I feel like a lot of this was shooting the shit that we could just like yeah, not yeah. do. And this just, is like yeah. the first just getting bone. getting used yeah. to the thing and Finding yeah. our finding our uh finding the flow. The stride, I yeah. Yeah, I wanna say we can either do like boar or um yeah. raccoon, and then once we're done with that, we can maybe 
do a little bit of like house bosser. Um, Jay can show off his factorio setup, and we'll do a little bit of that. <laughs> what I do you mean? Show off the how... new track. Uh, the new uh, oh, yeah. uh, autumn tracks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The, if you want the one from the stream the other day, you could show this off too. Does um, that feel like a plan? I don't want to sign it, but yeah, no, that sounds good. I'm just thinking, um, uh, just to reduce the number of times we're kind of going back and forth. Jake, if you make yeah. if you make them all like for each enemy, just just yeah. back yeah, to just back, I can just at a time. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can show them to you just once, and then that'll be a little oh, wow. simpler. Okay, I'm streaming one more time if you want to mm -hmm. tune in. Are there? Oh, I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't crash and test it. Oh, good. Okay, that works. <laughs> That's pretty satisfying. Ah, here, wait, wait though. It's too. It's like four frames late. I'm at early. Okay, hold on. Oh, I see what you mean. Um... You see? It goes, he rears uh... back, and it goes, whoop, whoop, then spits. But I can actually... Wait, well, let me fix on. that in the asset. I can actually fix that you on the You can if you want. Yeah, let me just time it out. It's usually not good to bake stuff like that, but this is so easy to fix. Uh, I mean, the, the okay. thing is that the thing is that fixing it in the asset will require us to do another restream, so we might just want to fix it in code so Bridget can do it live. If you want, I don't quite understand the delay though. I'm not seeing the delay. Like I, I believe you, but I'm not quite sure when. You, like, on. do you just want it? I'm gonna give you a new wave file, and it's all gonna be fixed in one second. Okay. Let me see it at full speed again. Here, hold on. I'm gonna. Turn on volt, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see now. I don't, but I believe you. <laughs> it's yeah. like so close to being on time, but it's ever so slightly, uh, late. I mean, early. It's ever so slightly early, yeah. Um, okay. I mean, I can also just play it like at a certain frame in the asset. Right, mm -hmm. but it needs a wind up anyway in the sound. Um, exactly. So let me. Okay. I got it Why right don't here. you. Yeah, just submit that. And then if you want, we could go on to the. Damn it, I already closed the stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we could go on to um, another enemy if you want. Sec. Support audio. Pumpkin spit. Also, look for a few more questions here. Um, Thanks. Answer questions is so much fun. Uh, oh, good, because I feel like neither of us can can. Right off of. Doctor Blue asks, "Does your game slash sound engine do the thing that happened on the NES, where if too many sounds are playing, they take over the music channels and part of the song is muted for a bit?" No, no. I wish. All of, I wish we do that. We. Mm, I mean, I don't really wish. For us to, <laughs> there are opportunities for us to get that kind of tech in there, but currently, um, we have all of our sound playing as one file. And all of our sound effects are separate files. So there's no way to mute individual channels or sound like sound channels from the music and have the sound take them over. It would be a lot of work for us to do that because we'd usually have to bake out, you know, each music file as all of the individual channels and then track when they're playing and when they're not. I and already that do fun. that though. I would love I would love writing I would love to write that, but it seems like it's a bit much for I already <laughs> render out individual mm -hmm. channels to mix. Yeah. So we're most of the way there. All right, um, Bridget, if you could um, get latest and, and rebuild, it yeah, should be... Yeah, I'm, I'm just building assets. You will? Uh, uh, yeah. I'm going to move on to Raccoon, right? Yeah. One more question before you do. Al Ukid asks what uh, Jake's favorite Game Boy soundtrack is, if you have one. I'm going to go ahead and say Tetris Song B. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Okay, Jake, if you want to check in on my end. Oops. I'm seeing it. It's, uh, it's stayed connected. Let me see, let me see. It's you a little you? late now. No, no, he's, he's breathing oh, he's... in. Okay. Wait. Is the sound that you're talking about, like, the bounce or the spit? It's the spit. Okay. I wonder if it's like a delay on mm. Discord because on my end before it was pretty close. 
It was pretty I... close, but I think I've overcompensated due to that delay. So let's split the difference. Okay. I oh, just can't tell if it's like a latency time. thing just through Yeah, just I shouldn't be Discord. trying to time it out while we're doing this over Discord. Um, yeah. But if I can tell how latent it usually is, I can ballpark it. Let are me split you, okay. So, Bridget, are you playing this? Are you playing this the the sound effect when he rolls to the antic or when he spits? Um, on spit. Play it. Play it on the antic. Because like on my stream it looks totally uh, perfect as it is now. But can I do this? Yay! Okay, great. It lets me do that. I think there's just a little bit of Discord. Jake, can you hear that? That uh -huh. looks That looks so good. Yeah. I like that timing. Yeah, that's Hey, nice. Jake, don't touch it. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, we did it. Uh, Raccoon? We Raccoon. did it. Raccoon. Oh, bo well that's boar. Boar is so cool though. Look at him. Oh. You want to do boar? We can do boar. Those Let's are going to be involved. Boar is awesome. All right. So, we need a snort. We need a Oh, well, snort is interesting. We need a dash visual. movement beginning. What other movements does he do? Um, so he does... Here, he does... He turns around, and depending on kind of where you are in relation to him, he will do that, like, charge, and he can bonk into the wall, which then spawns these... Um, like, if, if he passes you... He, if he passes you, he tries to stop, but if he goes too far, he'll just knock into the wall. And then he's also got that attack where if you're kind of closer, he'll try to do... Um, well, he does that skid, too, but, like, if you're kind of closer... Yeah. Oh, I can't quite get it. He'll do, like, a tusk attack. I saw that before, yeah. Yeah, hold on, he's, like, stuck. There we go. Yeah. Sort of yeah, we're, like... Wind up. Boop. Yeah. Bone so he kind of like he kind of he kind of shoots at you, yeah. This okay. is Stoker. We can. All right, we need five sounds for this. We need. A skid. He's like the he's like the bloodborne boar, like yeah. those big awful pigs. All right, we need a. Smart. Oh, I think I think I think his name is Smorgasbor. Is that right? Smorgasbor. <laughs> I right, so check cool. it check it out. We need five tr uh, sound effects. We need a snort. We need shaking off. We need a dash. We need a skid, and then we need a general boiling, winding up sound when he's like mm -hmm. um, So those five should be able to get through everything and we can repurpose the dash for the tusk attack um, and see if we need a specific unique one for that. So let me knock these ones out really quick. SFX. Jake, can you repeat your list? Because I'll just prop them on my end. Snort. Yep. Shake. Dash. Skid. And Larry, I mean, winding up. And what you, is Larry? I just was messing with you and the friends we made along the <laughs> okay. way. Okay. And viewers like you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, wind up would be what I call it. Okay, I think I got my list. So do snort, snort, shake, dash, skid, and wind up. What are you going to name them? Like SFX really good... bore, like SFX underscore bore underscore, underscore something. Bore underscore yada. Cool. Okay, so let's make... All right, I'm going to switch back to my screen. Do, 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 do. I'm going to make... Boar Snort. Boar Snort. I'm going to make SFX Boar Shake. Say it, shake. Rattle and roll. SFX Boar Dash. SFX Boar Skid. I really hope his name is Smorgasbor, and I hope that wasn't just a. I hope that wasn't uh, just incorrect. Okay, we got snort, shake, dash, skid, wind up, and cry. Do we need a? Can I do cry. a Pokemon sound for him? I don't think we need one though. That'll be his. He like, doesn't grumble. He like roils. He's like. Rawr. He seeds. Okay, let's do let's do the snort first. That's gonna be real easy. Yep. Open up. I feel like the snort is where you would use PCM channels if anywhere. I'm gonna have that lo-fi. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> sound like uh, 
Yeah. It's like you're on a phone call <laughs> to Antarctica. Mm -hmm. Let's do the speed commands here. This gets really annoying. I want to be able to set the speed to default to nuclear motorcycle speed. Uh, F and it's F, F, and 9. As long as I can just remember 9 and F. 901, F01. Every new. <laughs> Woo! Hi! Shout out to Sandy who does all the cool pixel art. Sandy Thanks, is Sandy. So amazing. Sandy makes Smorgasbord possible. Sandy has done every single piece of pixel art in this entire game. We have one pixel artist for the whole thing, and Sandy is absolutely incredible. I think sometimes there's a couple of people that hop in, but it was it some of the some of the intro cinematic? I think I think more Mor yeah Morgan did that. Oh, Morgan did recently. Morgan did a did a panorama and pixel. It's right, but yeah, there's it's like okay. Sorry, I shouldn't say everything. Everyone deserves credit, obviously, but it is impressive how much Sandy is able to get done, and. I've also requested like some very slight revisions from Sandy, and he'll have them. He'll have it done in minutes. He's like, just it's magic to me. Get this window small. Deal with it. Sounds like a sneeze, not a snort. Need some okay. bass. Need some kid. Well, the bass is going to be in in this one. Yeah, I just mean these leave them like low. There you go. <laughs> oh, here's another the other thing about the Game Boy is it can't go past this note. So if you do a sweep, it's gonna go beam. <laughs> It always ends on that note. So, the sound of a Game Boy concert, if you ever see somebody playing a show, it's like, doom, doom, doom. It's all in C, unintentionally. Hey, that dash sound effect you were talking about, is that like when he... Is that going to be a loop? No, it's just... Well, so is... Sorry, is, is the dash, like, when he's traveling from, like, left to right pretty far, or is that the one where he's, like, kind of coming at you faster? Both. And we'll see if we need separate ones for each oh, one. Oh, okay. It's just okay. it's a dash forward, but it doesn't last the whole length of the dash because he could be moving for an mm -hmm. undetermined amount of time. And then the wind up is the one that plays then before the the shorter like task attack. Yeah, the um, yeah, it's like a shorter version of shake. It's like a and then it's like a quick um the telegraph right. Yes. Yeah, that that antic. Yeah, um, I'm just trying to plan out ahead of time which ones are going to go where. Telegraph. It's funny how many names we have for that kind of thing. Antic telegraph. The ready. Okay, I got I got a place for snort. Uh, I don't have a place for shake. Oh, I guess I do. Do I? What's the difference between the sh What's the difference between shake and wind up? Those are kind of the same. Well, um, so it's the same state then for both pre-attacks? Well, so which, if you intend for them to be different, I just, I forget which is which. So there's like, there's the antic for like that big dash, and then there's the antic for like the more shorter tusk one. So is, do you prefer, um, Shake is after which, which one of those off, is, um, after he, uh, after he dashes into the wall and hits the wall and then like shakes his head, you know, uh, oh, shakes okay, it off. Okay, okay. That's what that is. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. A um, and then okay. and then um, the other yeah. one is called okay. uh, wind up, and that's for both the short and the long attacks. Wind up. Okay. Anytime he's doing that, like I'm so angry, I'm seething animation. Yeah, I was confused because he literally does like like a the sprite will shake a little bit like right. during one of the antics and that's different from his animation when he's shaking so I got confused. Gotcha. Um, okay. Uh, almost good on this set. I got to do a couple more but... Okay, so the shake that you're talking about is the anim and then both antics are going to use the winding up. 
cool. It is very funny and satisfying to hear you guys talking on a a lot. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, what do you mean? Go, <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. I could talk in automaton. Automaton. <laughs> Look, check it out. I'm like, you need, you need something in here going. Um, because the only the only thing that's weird, Jake, is like for the for the um like the charge attack that that dash that we're talking about, mm -hmm. like the antic is the snort. So we might not need to also play like the normal wind up. It sounds like it would be fine if it, if we just did wind up. Um, let me see the let me see the um let me see him hit the wall. Oh shit! Hold on. <laughs> Come back. Yeah, like a beyond. So that is snort. That is shake. Yeah. And then when he shake, when he actually vibrates, he gets angry at you and does his little dash. Okay, so that one's the shake one. Short tusky one, right? That yeah. right there, that's um wind up. So I guess we would only use that in that particular case. Yeah, okay. That's that's what I think I was getting confused about. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. I thought for some reason he vibrated before he did both dashes, but it's just the smaller one. So yeah, that should be yeah. fine. Okay, so shake. Okay, great. Right, oh, let me, uh, I got uh, sidetracked on this one, so let me let me fix it real quick. Yeah, it's a little confusing because like the some of the animations are named, like the animations aren't necessarily named what we're calling them, and then like we're also describing things that like I don't know, like different <laughs> words get used different ways in different places. So I'm trying to yeah. keep track. Um. Okay. Cool. We might want to have a glossary somewhere, but like all the things that we it's just it's just up here. It's just it's just yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not well, saying I... it's better. I'm saying it, it, it this would is be all nice, I have. Right? Yeah, right. sounds it like a motorcycle nice have... riffing up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, no. It's... Oh, that's not it's shake. Nice. That's wind up, or is it? Yes, it is. See, even you're getting confused. Well, because I'm trying to track three different things at once. Hang on. Uh, shake. This one will be... Okay, so... Can I see him, um, can I see him do the, the, the wall hit and shake off real quick? Yeah, here. Boop. Okay, so it's like... It's, pretty, it's, a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty fast shake off. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, Jasper, are we seeing any questions? Uh, I got one question for Jake. You? Uh, are, are you entering these notes by typing them on a computer keyboard or a MIDI keyboard? Or Well, I just either. destroyed the internet by trying to pick it up and show you. Hang on. I was like, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Entire world falls apart. Yes, it's a QWERTY keyboard. I'm not QWERTY. using MIDI right. for this at all. I only really yeah. use MIDI when I'm composing and I'm doing lots of arpeggios. Even if right. I'm doing melodies, I I like to use the QWERTY keyboard because it, it's like I am a piano player, but not when I yeah. track traditionally. MIDI at I, all in tracking is all newfangled and weird to me, so I'm, I have to force myself to even move my hands to the MIDI thing. Um, yeah, I, on, let, I, me, I, uh, let me do this um, little like two mm -hmm. um, two C before I forget what I'm actually. Yes. All right. All right, cool. Sorry, oh. go on. Yeah, I was just gonna that that question just that question was asked by Patch Pen. Yo, to make sure that people are credited for the questions. Yeah, these are all really good questions. Like they are, they are. People really want want to know more about this stuff. This isn't quite as much of an educational like begin, beginning stream, um, but I love to talk shop about it. So if you all have questions in you know various channels and stuff. Um, I'm happy to Abs point you in the right absolutely. direction. Absolutely, yeah, now. Okay, so we have the boar shake. We have boar snort. We have shake. We have dash, which I still need to do. Let's do this right now. And the, the skid, too. Let's wait. And I'm I'm just thinking through about where they're going to go ahead of time. Jake, you're so fast. You said, oh, this is involved, which for Jake means it takes three minutes instead of one minute. <laughs> it means I have to think about it and, like, I can't just, like, randomly 
put in things. I have to like, uh, <laughs> was that going to work? I have to like sound it out ahead of time and be like, nope, nope. Okay, let's try. And then nope. Um, all right, dash. Uh, no. I'll let you work. We have a few more questions, but I'll save them for after. Oh, it's using an instrument, not the raw one. Right, I have this, there's this. Eh. Much better. Okay, so da dash is the one that we're using for both. Mm, yes. Or am I just am I just crazy? Okay. Nope. I think okay. you're totally correct. Dash is the okay. only one that's shared between both of them, and then one uh, the long one uses the snort, and then the short one uses the shake. Yes. <laughs> and you got the the creeps, the sweets, and the wait. Yes. Wait. Wind up. You meant wind up. Did I? I think. I Son. think you did. Yeah, don't, shake is don't. after you hit the wall. Just make the ones you want, and then we'll put them in. <laughs> we'll come up with, like, standardized names so that, like, whenever you hit the wall, it's called Crash. Whenever you're starting something, it's called Antic. Whenever technically, <laughs> tec yeah, technically when he does that, like, that shake anim, it's called Charge Recover. And, like, the, uh, the, sure. the, you know, the snort one is, like, Charge Ready. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I can change it. And te that. technically, it's not a dash anyway, it's a charge. So you just use whatever words you want. I give up. The thing is, these sounds are going to be used for many other things. So it sure. almost doesn't matter that they're named yeah. after the yeah. specific animation. So. Jake, how do you. I mean, if there's like, if there's like going to be hundreds of sound effects in the game, how do you remember what any of them are called to like recall them later? Like, oh, we should reuse this sound. How do you remember what they're called in the first place? Same way do you just I remember, remember all of their like organic names? Same way I remember spelling words, rote memory, and just looking at them yeah. a bunch. And I don't always. Sometimes I forget and I have to go look it up or I use the wrong yeah. one. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we don't have a guy called that in this game. It's totally this. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's imperfect at best. But the alternative is trying to even write them all down in the first place and like keep track of everything is like just as much work. And also frustrating. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. All right. I, I got some more questions from the Discord. Um, is sound always the last component of something? Or does the sound design ever inform other components of the design? Um, I assume for this game and Yacht Club in general, it's mostly been sound that comes late in, the, late in development. Um, right? Um, concept stuff matters, but... Final mm -hmm. assets don't go until the game is pretty much finalized because yep. that's how I compose. I play the game mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I hallucinate a soundtrack that doesn't exist yet and then I make it yep. exist. And yep. so if there's not a polished game to look at and get inspired by, I have to hallucinate what I think it's going to be. And I'm not sure mm -hmm. about that. And so I'm oh. not sure if it's going to fit. So I have yeah. to like make up a game that does that's not even you can't even look yeah. at it. So it really helps to come in late in the process, but yeah. coming in early in the process to hype the team up and do some uh, look dev development of the the overall aesthetic. Um, yeah, <laughs> is also woo. Hang on. Yeah, you you gave us some of those those early themes really early on when we're gonna get some of the gothic stuff. Yep, I was uh, like the, uh, yeah. brainstorming. Yeah. Look look dev kind of stuff. Yeah, which is awesome. Um, that question was from Regiot. Dr. Blue asks, to see we're seeing the sound of the pixel animations, do we ever tweak animations to sound the way they wound? Um, I don't think we do. I think animations yeah. usually always come first. There's um, been a couple there's been a couple times though where like we um, well like I'm I'm trying to think of like you remember the the bonehead howl? I don't remember if like I don't remember yeah, We might have extended the animation a few more times to make sure the whole howl played out. Yeah, I feel Maybe. like we said we wanted a howl. Mm -hmm. And then made him. I don't remember. That's I, the only I, example I can think of. Though. I think. I think. I think we tweaked that. I definitely. You're right. We definitely tweaked that one. We had. We had a howl state, but I don't think the head shook or something like that. And we made the head shook after we put in the put in the sound. Um, was what it was. So yeah, I mean, it, it. 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 We. The more pieces that come together, the more you can see what you have to tweak, right? So usually, sound goes in last. Um, but sometimes we'll put in a sound and realize that it's really missing something and doesn't and not matching even though the sound is perfect. Um, so uh, that was that was uh, 
Dr. Blue asked that. Al, you kid asks, does composing gameplay tracks have some sort of music theory behind them? Uh, yeah, no. I'd say. No. There's no such thing as music theory. No, I, I music think it's theory pretty... theory is used to describe music, not to compose it. It's... Really? Is that... Are you... Are you, you, you okay. For me. Uh, for you. <laughs> I would definitely say you're using a lot of the tools of music theory of harmony and of, you know, knowing what chord... Functional chords... Right? That's when you intuition. Did the auto- it's not a theory. If it's just internal. Hmm. If you right, write it down, enough. it becomes theory. If I were to write down my weird idiosyncratic way of mm-hmm. BSing out songs, then it would become a, a theory. As of now, it's mostly just a hypothesis. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I, yeah. My personal take is that music theory is invaluable when writing music, but I guess Jake doesn't really feel that way. Um, and no, I guess no. The, I know, think it's invaluable when talking about it with other human beings who are musicians because otherwise how do you get a, a an idea across how do you describe it's the, like the math. major key it's exactly mm-hmm. like math it is math so right. i see it as I, I don't think about like math when i'm playing with lego and trying to build a thing i just right. even though i'm using engineering and mechanical knowledge it's the music theory that i know is completely internalized and used for yeah. putting it into the world and not creating in yeah. the first place Hey, wait, I just want to interrupt real quick. Jake, mm-hmm. how are they coming? They're almost done. Okay, cool. Um, personally, when I write music, I find that most, like, 90% of what I do is from my intuition. But if, I, if, I, if something is not coming together, if intuition doesn't leave me in the right place, music theory provides a lot of tools for me to fill that in, right? Like, if, if I can't make a chord resolve in the way I want... They'll turn more to explicit music theory to figure out, like, okay, what key am I in? What, what, what is the function of each of these chords? And how can I resolve this in a music theory way? But I think the more you work with it, the more that definitely becomes ingrained. Um, yeah. Definitely. But I, I definitely think about music theory. It is in many ways a communication tool, but it's also to me just like a bunch of tools for how to analyze and build on tropes, common tropes and common themes in music. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's useful for analyzing music that already exists. Um, yeah, I have I have a slightly different take on that, but yeah. Let's see, oh, you, 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 you. I'm I'm whispering to myself about where I'm going to put each of these so that I can speed run it by the time you guys are done. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm I'm trying to. Yeah. No, you're good. Um, Red shot. Get them ready. Red Yacht asks, is there a concept art stage for music and sound design? Um, I would say a little bit. Like, I don't think that any of it... Yeah, I'd say there's an element of trying to figure out the main themes of this game. Um, and it's it's hard to say, like, there's a similar thing to, like, original concept art. If I don't really, I'm not really in, involved in music production enough, like professional music production enough to know if there's like a an equivalent word to like those early deliverables. But I'd say, yeah, you're thinking about themes, the motifs, the styles of game, uh, stuff that you want to write. You know, like what what styles of music are going to be in there, what instruments you're using. Um, hey, Michael's got a good question. When, but oh yeah. just just when, <laughs> may, may, maybe when you're done, Jake. Hang on. Almost done. I've yeah, also here, been ignoring when, when, Celia's question, so I'll get back to that. Uh, here, when when Jake is done and we we hop over to my side, maybe mm-hmm. we can answer Michael's question. It's mm-hmm. yeah. a really good one. I also don't. I also don't. <laughs> I also don't know what it means, but it sounds like a good question. <laughs> Celia, were you trying to jump in and say something? Oh, yeah, I said ignore my question. I was just being annoying. <laughs> oh. No, I'm not going to ignore your question. I'm going to shame, shamefully embarrass you in front of the whole cr- the whole uh, stream. How dare you? <laughs> I'm going to remember that. <laughs> For what? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to remember it. Mm. All right, almost done. Oh, I forgot. I... I didn't even add like a sound component to this guy. That sounds important. Yeah, you could use the audio gl- global singleton, but I've been trying to convince people not to use that as of recent. So go ahead, add a sound component for me, please. Yep. I thought enemy component had one by default. It. 
double check. It does. Okay, cool. I just didn't I didn't see it mentioned yet in the enemy. But yeah. that's very convenient. I think we just haven't done any sound implementation for any of these yet. Okay, they're done. I'm rendering them. Woo. Export audio and file. SFX. Or snort. <laughs> Smorgasbord snort. Smorgasbord snort. Don't, don't don't name it that. Don't encourage Jake. Or shake. <laughs> oh, please tell me this is actually rendering and just fast. <laughs> That's why the progress bar exists. Uh, or or dash. I feel like there's got to be a better way to like export multiple files at the same time. There is. I usually have an auto it three script for family tracker and bamboo tracker Ooh. and everything, but I haven't done one yet for furnace because it's still so in flux and uses uh, yeah. MGUI. So yeah, uh, it's going to be a little bit more involved, but it's fine. I'll just do key macros instead of reading the screen. <laughs> cute, cute stuff is like that too. It's like, yeah, you have to get the API stuff differently. Um, SFX bore. Skid, or his kid, or his head, and then, yeah, keep I can going, do it going. in one. I can do it in one click with my yeah. uh, auto it thing. You should ask the furnace guys see if you could just have like a full one click export. That there's so many things I could ask, <laughs> and he's so nice and so like wanting to help. Oh, that's that I'm, nice. I'm afraid yeah. of burning him out by asking for all my pet features. I mean, that's fair. Feel free to burn me out by asking for all your pet features for our audio entry. Everyone else is asking. Yeah, uh, Jasper, do you, do you want to make edits to Furnace Tracker? Sounds good. Oh, that would be great. This one is a little bit better than me editing Trillo Tracker. That one is a little bit <laughs> too extreme for me. Yeah, but it's all written in weird assembly language for this one chip that does no documentation. That guy's like less, uh, I'd say, harried by the community. They're like <laughs> less insistent on his time. Mm -hmm. There's like five of us using it. <laughs> okay. Jasper, I question your commitment to Sparkle Motion. To Sparkle Motion? It's it's from it's from Donnie Darko, I think. Oh, oh god, I haven't seen that since I was yeah, like twelve. In the, yeah, in the movie, like some god, some yeah. mom is like really, yeah. like kind of like a helicopter mom is like mm -hmm. criticizing criticizing another mom who like I think has her kid like in their mm -hmm. dance program and she's like i sometimes i doubt your commitment to sparkle, sparkle motion, motion. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i don't even okay thank you michael michael knew i don't even think, i don't even know if i explained it right i i think the last time i watched that was like in in like fifth grade history class substitute teacher day. i've not Why seen you... that's, that's like the most irrelevant movie to watch yeah. For history well, class, I don't know why either. We watched a lot of fun movies during history. Class. Um, whenever, whenever things, uh, the history class for some reason it wasn't on a small like CRT or like television. The guy had like a giant projector which projected onto a white wall that he just didn't fill with posters on the side of the wall. And whenever is it anything, the movie wall? <laughs> yeah, and whenever anything steamy or spicy came up with a movie, he just like got up there and like started doing a funny dance in front of the projector so he couldn't see. Uh, the what was going on in the movie? <laughs> it was great. I just remember. I remember, like the go-to movie when I was a kid was like the first episode of Bill Nye. So like I've seen the first episode of Bill Nye way more yeah. times than any of the other ones. Yeah, that first pilot. It's amazing. Okay. I remember. Ready? Oh, go ahead. Okay, no, great. Uh, I remember um, it's it's. Go ahead. Get your, I can stop uh, talking get your about. Okay, no, you cool. keep going. I just I'm I'm done. Let's right. start on the next thing. What should we do next? When do um... well, we, Here, we, let we, me? We gotta get more up and running. <laughs> but, uh, I'm messing with you. I don't wait. Wanna... Hey, hey, hey. We should. We should ask. Uh, we should ask uh, Michael's Celia's... question. Oh yeah. Well, and and stall stall a little bit for me. Good. good All right. Good. Yo, what's what's going on? All right, uh, Michael. Michael asked the question. Our Michael. Jake. Our you... Michael. Uh, Our yeah, Michael. Hey, what's up? Asks us the question, Jake, tell us your factorio theory. <laughs> what does it mean to have a factorio theory? I don't know what that means. Is that about the thing that happened earlier? That you can do anything with it? It's basically an operating system? 
I, I mean, I don't really know where Michael is going with this either. But <laughs> yeah, uh, you apparently remote desktop using Factorio. So. Yeah, I was trying to get my color configuration file, which took me a long amount of a lot a large amount of time to get just right, and I was gonna have to redo it for today because I've been working on it this whole time, and I'm like. Great, I put the music on Dropbox, but I totally didn't put that, and I don't want to go all the way back home after I just got here. And so I'm like, uh, all right, let's just do Moonlight. Nope, Windows Desktop sharing. Nope, not working for some reason. So I, I connected to Factorio via Steam Streaming. And and so I was on my computer in Factorio, and then I clicked one of the like patch notes things, and it pops out a browser window on the desktop. So I'm like... So I'm back on my hey, computer. Hey. I was able to hey, Jake, Steam extract the files. Jake, What's just up, a Jake? question. Mm -hmm. You submitted boar short. Did you mean boar snort? I sure did. How did that... Uh, how did <laughs> That's that... okay. I'm just going to leave it as short and we'll fix it later. How did that... That um, boar is not short. That boar is the opposite of short. That long stem glyph get on my end. <laughs> how did that end get a tail? I was, I was so confused. I was like, what... What, what is the the we talked about this. What is the boar short? Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. All right, whatever, <laughs> whatever, laugh it up. <laughs> Talking about okay. spelling, and I'm like, I can't even type. Now, let's see, that happens sometimes when I'm super rushing through something. No, that's okay. See, that's just what happens. Board Don't short. Rush, it's kids. supposed to be SFX board shorts. Like, we went Duh. to Tilly's and got some. Oh. You know, it's surfing USA time. Yeah, so I hacked myself with Factorio this morning. I basically owned my own computer remotely by it's Steam remote sharing. Yeah, yeah by hitting the... so now I gotta like implement like a POSIX stack or something on it and have it in a full operating system, so I don't even have yeah. to break out of it. I can just be like, "Give me this file," and it's like, <laughs> "All right." Consulting. Oh database. no! No, I'm not gonna try to do TCP over Factorio. Over Factorio. Over, <laughs> over TCP IP. You're not gonna implement. You're not gonna implement a full operating system with Factorio wires and no. whatever. Well, I don't... a synthesizer operating system, no problem. Yeah. But as soon as you need to handle like, I don't know, preemptive multitasking, like, no. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will do it. They they have full processor uh, processor models. Like, somebody made yeah. a Z80 like. Uh, but they, they run glacially slow, so. Yeah. So, Oh hey, Red Yacht is asking um, Jake for your favorite sound effect you've ever created. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's nameable though. Uh, it's so gotta many. be Bat Cat dot wave. Um, yeah, SFX Cat Bat and Bat Cat, which is from Batman the Brave and the Bold for the video game for Nintendo Wii. Um, I I had to do Batman and uh, Batman changing into a normal looking cat for the Catman stage, I believe. And then changing back out. So it's like, and then, so it's like, I had to morph in the sound. I don't even, I might actually have it here. Was was that for, was that for Wii or was that for DS? There I were two remember. completely different games on each right, platform. Yeah. And you did sound for both? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sound and music. And they were totally separate soundtracks, totally separate. Uh, like the we one had um, VO all over it. Um, it was like a full adventure game with you know cutscenes and all that stuff. And uh, the DS version was a Sean game. It was one of the first things I worked on with Sean. So it was like a 16-bit beat 'em up. And he's like, just go all out with the arcade music versus was that the the, the jazz. Nine four kind or seven was it nine four or seven four time signature? I found it at some point. Hmm. Hey, can I jump in so, real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're ready to go. Jake, can no. you show me, can you show on my side and do that thing where you click on Discord because secretly mm -hmm. this whole thing is held together by tape and paper clips? There you go. Well, I mean, that's audio for you. That It is what it is. Okay, cool. And I can take you through a tour of like kind of where we added stuff. Um, you should be able to hear it. Nice. Let me know. Well, he's skidding when he hits the wall. Nice though. Oh, you know what? Yeah, there is there is like that other skid too. Um No, I think I think the skid's okay. No, that's 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 good. Is that okay. Oh, this is so cool. We need to make a sound for him hidden and then for the, the acid pools, but we can Yeah, I was I was gonna ask, is the juice gonna get its own thing? Yeah, probably. 
I forgot also, sometimes he does like a fake out where um, he'll do like, I don't know if I can make him do it. He'll do the snort, but then he'll do like the regular tusk attack instead. And those sound still work. Oh yeah, just right there. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So good. sometimes he'll like, he'll fake you out. Okay, cool. I'm um, like, you know, what do you think? What do you think, chat? Is it cool? It still needs some we... stuff, but... Do we have an existing crash down we can use from something else? Um, I think probably the Duchess boss fight, yep. I yeah. think, does. I don't know what it uses, though. Whenever possible, probably... reuse boss sounds that are, like, not main ones. You know, if it's a specific, yeah. like, boss forming, you wouldn't want to reuse that, but anything else is fair game. Because it's yeah. only ever used once in the whole game, otherwise. It's, like, here. it's a one-off. There's All Duchess right. wall bonk. Uh, Duchess yep, wall bonk I... is a custom sound. Yeah, I just found it. Let's nice. just paste it in. More paper clips. Nice. All right. Ooh. Now it's important to mention: don't pay attention to the volumes of these sounds yet, because we're going to be mixing yeah. it all. And like, for example, the snort is way too loud. You know, mm -hmm. like, but things like that'll it will come later. If it sounds like too shrill in a particular area, it's probably going to bother me too, and I'll do something about it. There's going to be iteration, but we want to make sure that nothing is without a sound, and then we can start tweaking parts of it that that don't work, yeah. you know? Because if you cool. do uh, like one sound at a time, you're not sure the second one is going to fit with the first one. Here, mm -hmm. just a quick tour. Um, like Jake, while you were making all the sound effects, I was just kind of going through the state machine and like picking out the different places. So, cool. like each of these, each of these boar states is like divided up into separate places, right? So, like that part where he shakes starts right here and like the part where um he does the snort starts right here and so on so like there's a bunch of places where like clearly he changes behavior um like right at the start and so it makes it easy to just play all those sound effects mm -hmm. um and i think machines are so cool yeah okay so we can do the puddles or we can move on to something else what do you feel like um let's do you have anything existing for puddles? We must. We must have a gooper something that we can use. Oh, well. maybe with like. I don't know if I have Red all the sound effects sounds too. Right here. Let me. Uh, let me actually just listen to a few, and we'll see what. Uh... Would you? Would it be a sound effect that plays when it lands? I was um, thinking. Of, yeah. Okay. Not when it. Not when it spawns. Right. No. Um, and only be... one for the entire thing. Do they yeah. land at different times, or they're all? Same frame, same. Um, I don't remember. Let's. They let's can see. land at different times. I'm quite sure. But. Hold on. Oh, they yeah, totally land arbitrarily. They, they can be separate, but it'll only ever be like three puddles. All right, let me make a real quick sound for that. Okay. Because this needs to be incredibly unobtrusive. Um, SFX bore, acid land. We can also make it so that if one is playing, we don't play another one. We have. Yeah, that through like the global code. audio. Yeah. yeah. But it's also yeah. going to make it sound like things are landing without, uh, mm -hmm. without effect effects if they're being blocked off. So let me just make. I want yeah. each one of those to have to trigger the same effect, but with the random variation yeah. eventually. But um, for now, it's got to be a really, mm -hmm. really subtle sound. Let me just make it. There's right also now. Next would be nice. There's also, you guys know the tomato farmer. I'm not going to oh, yeah. show him, but there's there's like there's also like a tiny little version of the boar that's like a little baby pig. Mm -hmm. But also, like, through certain means, generates its own little puddle. Mm -hmm. But I don't, mm -hmm. that might need its own sound effect. More of a uh, pouring water than a, than a bloop. Yeah. Okay, I got the um, splash one done. Let me do the wall impact now. Dr. Blue. Oh, we, we reuse wall impact from Duchess, but yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, we, then we my work is already done. If you want to make a new one, that's totally fine. We can adjust. Uh, we can adjust it certainly. Doctor Blue asks, "Can you adjust the sound volume, other stuff in code?" Um, yes, we can. In fact, the the play call that Bridget has been adding, the second argument is actually the volume. It just defaults to one max volume. Max or go home. Mm -hmm. There are a few. There are a few cases where we. Um, there's a piece where we, where we can modify pitch or panning or volume. I actually don't know if we modify, modify panning anywhere right now, but certainly there's one specific place where we do pitch randomization that I've coded in. 
I had to write the pitch shifting code for that one. That yeah, we fun. definitely need that as a standardized function because I'm going to need lots of that for yep. repetitive. Mm -hmm. Okay, SFX board splash. Uh, I'm uploading it right now. Okay, cool. And conveniently, through the magic of state machines, uh, I know exactly when to play that, more or less. Yay. State machine magic. Committing. Probably the, probably the lamest thing I've said today. State machine magic. That's like the least thing cool said. thing I've said today. <laughs> Colonel Crackers are the best. All right, let's uh, let's go. I got it. I got it in. Yeah, I synced. Woohoo! Yeah, that's that's like a very uh, subtle, not quite as loud sound. So it should be. And then we'll mm -hmm. want to randomly change the pitch of them, probably by like I don't know, five percent or something, one percent, something incredibly subtle. Yep. Just so it doesn't like waveform yeah. cancel itself out. The Doom barrel effect. Y'all play Doom? You ever shot a <laughs> rocket launcher and hit like ten barrels at once and it's like <laughs> that's what we're trying to avoid by by yeah. all this jargony stuff. I could honestly even put that into the, the text file that Bridget is editing. So you say like min and max pat pitch and it just chooses a random one in between those two. That'd be great. Uh, so then you could just type a, type in the mix and min and max patch. Pitch. That's what people pay a hundred thousand dollars for F mod for. Fun for <laughs> the Rand function. Yeah. Not hating, it's awesome. It saves you tons of time if you're doing like yeah. I know NHL sports random dialogue ninety eight. But if you're yeah. doing a small, small game with the manageable amount of sounds, like middleware is pretty overboard. It's having it's good a to know it though. Is so cool. Having a custom engine is so much fun. Some sound designers are going to be like, oh, I don't want to ever touch a text file. I just want to click a thing, but don't be that sound designer. Nobody. You've never met that sound designer. I have had a lot of, I have had a lot of, like, I've worked with a lot of people who have, like, the managers say, we need this, like, tool, and they can never use a text file. I go talk to the person who's going to use it. It's like, yeah, we just want to enter in this text file. Care, we don't yeah. want to, we don't want to point and click anything. Um, it's not as common, but. Oh, nice. Whoa. Hold on, I just can't hear it. You can use global audio play for now. Oh, it working. Um, oh, he really hit that wall hard. It's like a nuclear explosion, just full white out. I think Jake, you need to show this game on screen. Oh. Okay. oh. It's not coming through. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh. There it is. It fixed. No, I messed. I messed it up on my end. Okay. Okay, that was it. What? Oh, here, hold on. Here, you should hear the puddles in a second. That's it. Yep. They're I'm gonna really make quiet. them. I'm gonna make them a little more like blick, and I'm hey. gonna use some square waves. But I'll iterate on that later. Hey, Bridget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna like quickly put in a line of code or something to randomize the pitch and just learn how that works? Um. Sure. Feeling, feeling a little bit. Okay. Uh, so if you go to Bone Stone Machine Menu, you should see something in there. Look for Play Handle. Do. No, is it audio? Yeah, it's audio. It's not on. There's no sound component for the menu. Is this it? Here. Uh, Jake, it sounds like we could do this potentially in code if you don't want to mess with the asset. Is this oh, what sorry. you're talking about? Look for look for Play Plink Sound. I'm sorry, I got it wrong. Uh, wait, are you seeing my screen though? Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing your screen. You're, you're like, it's, I'm watching your YouTube thing. So it's, it's, it's oh yeah, it's a little yeah. behind, but I think this is what you're talking about. Play plink sound. Yeah. 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 That, that's what I mean. Uh, you could use audio play handle for that instead of the custom thing that I do. Um, okay. so you basically, when you get, you get the YC audio handle out from play handle as a return and then you just call dot set pitch on it. Okay. So would I just do like an audio play instead of a sound component play? I believe sound component. Let me just check. I believe sound component also has a play handle function you can call. Uh, oh no! Actually, the sound component will return you a, a YC audio handle. So you just need to, like, capture the return value of that YC audio of the of the play call and just put that into a handle and then call set pitch on it. Right. Sorry if I'm a little bit confusing. Hold on, I forget what it's called. 
Yeah, so you um, see, yeah, I'm, I'm watching a little bit out of date, so. Um, if I set the pitch, what do you want it randomly between? Probably like negative 0.4 to plus 0.4. We can try that. Um, one is a full octave. So 0.4 is going to be. Okay. Uh, uh, do, is this like make it lower, make it higher? Like, do we only want it higher or do we also want it lower? Uh, I don't know. It's up to Jake, but you can do whatever. Okay, Definitely let's try make it. it equidistant on both, but that's going to make oops, it oops. extremely um, piano y. 0.4. Is that in, is that in, is that a scaler of the entire that's octaves. range? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. That's. Uh, one, one is one octave higher, so I mean, gotcha. I forget what I did for, for Bonestone. It'll make it very obvious what's happening. Did it doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, wait, hold on. Let me Let's hear it again. again. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, a little bit. It did. Hold on. There might, there might be a bug with how it's using. Uh, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be using the... There you go. Sometimes it's really different, though. I think it's selecting. I think it's selecting one pitch for all three in up to all three in a group. I think it's really? not re-rolling the random after each one. That's my speculation immediately. That it shouldn't. No. no I, I I think it's just our. I think I know what's going on, but it'll take a little bit of after stream work to solve. So. I can leave in the pitch thing though. Can um, you slow mo it? And let me let me hear each one as it hits. I don't. Uh, yeah. Douche. So red. Yeah, here we go. Totally random. That last there. one. That last one was like a little, a it's little. Working. Guys, it's working yeah. exactly yeah. as designed. It's fine. <laughs> it, it, because okay. it's white noise, you can barely hear the fundamental pitch of it. Exactly. Exactly. So it's I really hard to tell. It. But once I heard him <laughs> slow mode, I was like, yeah, of course, those are playing like that's like yeah. a half an octave. That's yeah. almost a whole octave. It's 0.8 octaves, plus or minus. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good job, it works. It'll be more obvious. It'll be like too obvious with, um, say, yeah. if it's like a ricochet sound where it's like, bink, it'll be. Yeah. It's like. That's exactly what happens to the Bone Stone machine menu right now as it plinks, it plinks in all sorts of different tones. But that's intended there because it's coins. Yes. Right? Minecraft's experience. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, it's, I think it's just harder to hear. But it. Anyway, now you know how to set pitch on random cool. sounds that are playing. Yay. So you can do that for anything now. We could put that in the system if you really wanted, but... Yeah, when I say I need something randomized pitch, that's literally all, all I need. Mm -hmm. And I'll usually mm -hmm. give you the float value if it's something like, you know, tone. Yeah. It's something you want to be really subtle. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, All right. What do we... Oh, dang it, I closed the game again. <laughs> okay. Um, what do we want to do next? It's so been it's a couple of hours. 4 p.m. now. Do you want to get one last thing in? I'm really happy with how this board is sounding. I call that a success. Yeah, I, I can uh, work until midnight. I don't care. I love this stuff. So you guys <laughs> cut me off when you're tired, basically. Ben uh, asks, is that sort of pitch shifting some, of white noise something the Game, Game Boy could have done? I actually don't know. Jake. Yes, with caveats. Uh, cave you have limited resolution for your pitch registers. Yeah. So you can't necessarily vary it by like 0.1% or whatever. It's, it doesn't go into floating point stuff. Yeah. But you can definitely change randomly the, the, uh, the pitch of whatever. It was hardly ever done, though, because the reason it's done is to avoid the machine gun effect of hearing the okay. same exact sound over and over again. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Hey, What's Jasper. What's Dr. Up? Blue asks I if know. you set it to negative. Can we, does it, will it work? It's, it, won't, it won't, like, break anything, but it probably but won't go well. <laughs> I don't want it to break. I want it to go poorly. It's going to sound gonna like uh, it's gonna sound like the title menu in Bioshock with all the piano notes. Ding! Okay, here, let's let's hear it. Here we go. Negative five and positive five. Here it comes. <laughs> that's, exactly <laughs> that so was weird. that's exactly what I was expecting. Let yeah, it the answer is it doesn't sound great. It, it played the sound Whoa. at about like one hundred hertz and about ten thousand. I should also say that my pitch shifting code was intentionally like kinda garbage. I'm using what's called linear interpolation. 
Um, more complicated pitch shifters can handle wider ranges because they do more complicated uh, interpolations. While well, I specifically wanted to get a crunchier sound out of my pitch shifting, so uh, for that reason, um, like it isn't sounding great. If we ran this through a sync filter or um, you know a Gaussian or something, it would sound a lot better. Yeah, that's um, um, that's not the sound I want though. I exactly, want the, I want the crunch. I want the crunch. Okay, so I'm happy to keep going and do like regular enemies. Uh huh. Uh, the stream's been going on a minute, so I feel like for folks that have been here a minute, I think it would be fun if we like paused and maybe did the house, and then afterward we can just go back to regular enemies if people want to hang out. How does that sure. sound? I'm for it, but you know there are probably a lot of a lot of sounds in that house b battle. Right? Yeah, there right. might be. So let's let's uh, let's let's Should go we... through and take inventory. Let's see what we're doing. It's right, on our it. it's on our fair game list. Apparently. It's on our fair game list. It is. Oh. Okay, so so when you oh geez, I've not looked at this house in a minute. So let's hope it all still works. But okay, so in theory in the game, um when you come to September, you're gonna run into this house. Isn't it interesting? And um I guess we'll just play it. And it spits you out, and it's actually a boss. What? Whoa. What? OMG. Like, this does a slam. Is... The internal name for this guy was Living House. I think we called him Mad House with these or something. Yeah, like and this guy's in the trailer, so he's on our list of, of mm -hmm. fair game items to show. Oh, here, hold on. I think I'm technically invulnerable. Let's turn that off. You're still gonna keep your health at invincible, though? That's not gonna cheat. Don't call me out like that. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna call you out like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so there's a bunch of things that are going on. So he's got like a kick he can do. There's a couple different kicks. He's got uh, stomping around. Just yeah. Stomping. So he'll Get fly out. around, and then if you're not careful, he'll like slam on you. Um, one thing I'm not gonna do. I think we're just gonna focus on the fight itself. We're not gonna focus on. Um, on the death portion. Yep, we specifically said that everything after death is death is not on our game list. Yeah, that's that not some... on our fair game list. Can we focus on the intro? Totally. Um, the yeah. Yeah. And so, um, the right now, like the house, um, the house, it's less of a boss and more of like a mini boss. So this is something where, like, if mm -hmm. you're coming to September for the first time, this boss is like a good indicator of like whether or not you can kind of progress and like how hard or difficult that's going to be because in theory you can approach you know the stages in basically any order but like you might run into a fight like this that kind of indicates like whoa if you kind of struggle with it then maybe you know save it for later or just go for it uh but okay yes we can do the intro so mina gets spit out whoa Wait, let me see the let me see the real time little... i just want to see it a couple a couple times so i can okay Hallucinate sounds that don't exist yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna repeat it a few times. Oh no no I I oh the whole thing yeah the whole the whole sequence okay okay sorry but we're just focusing on the tongue part. I meant we're gonna have a custom music for this guy so <laughs> that's gonna come in. And just for the record, that sound that is playing right now is the sound of the gates. So I don't think the boss has any sounds. Mm -hmm. Like, there's gates at the bottom left that, that come up when you start a boss fight. So that's the sound that you're hearing. Let me see that, that initial the... tongue flap real, real quick. Jasper, what was your question? I always thought that sound was the health bar, not the gates. No, but I think I, the I, gates. It's, it's, I, I, you're right. I just never... Never... Well, you know what? I mean, they're all happening at the same time anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that boss intro. Uh -huh. right, one more, one more run through. Mm -hmm. Look at his big weird legs. He's got like hoofs. It's so awful. It's insane. It's so gross. Like if I if I slow mo step through the kick, oh, I gotta get him to kick. Like, the bottom of his feet are clearly hooves. It's so gross. <laughs> Hold on. Here they come. Any second now. Come on. Like, <laughs> ew. Ew! I, oh, he's got, yeah. he's got like, these big, like, pustule arms. What, like, 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 what is that? 
He's just got a hole in his forehead for some reason. I really want when the fight starts. I wish we could have like like birds that fly out of the hole. Like what? Ha like they've been like re they've been like nesting in there. You're also demolishing this guy because you have progress snap on. I think so. I think I do. Yeah. We also gotta beat this guy a little bit. I think even with that. Yeah. So like, if I right now my uh, my level in game is set to something that's like, you know, uh, appropriate for this level. But like, if you came into this zone at an earlier level, you would do like less damage. And it would go a lot rougher. Oops. Oh, I just got big gut hit. That was pretty good. Yeah. Nice. Here, I want to get big get hitted to death. I want to get big get hitted to death. Can't even see it. Too big. Mm. When you get spit okay. out, oh sorry. No, no, go ahead. I was gonna say like when you spit out, there's a, there's like a, a a a thing where like Mina is like just pancake flat spitting out at a weird angle. Yeah. I love it. I she, love yeah, that. it's like it's like a little disco spin. Here she yeah. goes. Freeze frame it. Wait, hold on. It's like. Woo! Woo! Someone clip that. <laughs> Whitewater rafting or something. It's, it's so great. We gotta reuse that like multiple times. Anyway, um, maybe that is used for the event. I don't remember. Anyway, Jake, Jake. Jake. Yeah. Yep. I'm already How on do you... like I'm already on okay. like sound two of nine. Hang on. Oh, you have the you have the wrong. You're you're not streaming your furnace. I know. I'm, I'm Here, working on it in the oh. background. <laughs> okay. Here, do we? Yeah, you want to switch to to your work? <laughs> And let me know, so, uh, oh, here, I'll close the raccoon, but if you want to, if you're making, like, a mental list of what effects you're going to make, let me know, and I can, I no. can plan them out. I already made a list in Furnace. It's ready to go. Well, tell me what the <laughs> list is, so I, I can, because then SFX I can It's SFX House it. Eyeball 1, SFX House Eyeball 2, which are oh. the shaking of the window and the bursting, respectively. SFX House Tongue Flap, SFX House Arm 1. I don't like tongue. I don't like tongue flap. I don't either. <laughs> Arm two. That's just the game we're making. Popcorn explosions, which will be randomized, hopefully. Uh, legs exploding out. Um, Popcorn explosion sounds interesting. Is that the kind of thing that we're going to play continuously, like while it's shaking? One per um, burst. There are a bunch of spacks that come out when the stuff is happening. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, they're like planks of wood. They're like big wood chips. Mm -hmm. And so that's that'll be each particle that spawns play the sound once randomly. Uh, okay. Basically, random pitch, slightly randomized volume. All right, I'm making the cracking sound of the frames of the windows. Okay, I've already lost track of the list. So let me. You can just watch the stream. So there's eyeball one, eyeball two, tongue flap, arm one, arm two, popcorn, legs, and kick. I ha Yeah, I have it like really small on my end. It's like teeny. There's SFX kick down dash. I see that's supposed to be house kick down dash and house stomp as well. After this, I do really want to do the raccoon. I feel like it'll be fun. <laughs> Just keep going? Keep going on the stream? Maybe. I'm getting tired though. Yeah. But this is a, this is a solid list. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully, hopefully we can start uploading the vods Here, for all these. I'm gonna I'm gonna reach into my drawer of emergency granola bars. Oh boy! Now I'm all, now I'm all set. I'll mute. Soon. Sorry about that. What was that? Vod uploads are coming soon. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> so, what is coming soon? Vod uploads. Oh, VOD uploads. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Julia. No problem. Going back Dude. to behind the scenes. Bye. Celia, you're the best. Thank you so much for everything you do. Celia, Celia does not get enough love, honestly. Oh, you got the toms. The toms are starting. Uh-huh. Do, do. You gotta use the same uh, same exact wavetable in channel four and channel five on revision one of the SCC chip, yep. <laughs> which is the most common one that you'll find in the wild. All these things I could fill my brain with, like science or the law. Fill them on fun chip information, like it's so good. 
I, I started writing a blog post about some of our technology that we've been making for this game. And I spent like half of the blog post just like talking about like random NES history and just like graphics chips. That's, come on, come on. That's like a, that's like a Guiro, Guiro thing. I can't, I can't, I can't say it, but you know what I mean? The, 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 mm -hmm. the scratchy thing. That's so good. I love, I love it. What is that scratch? Well, it's two SEC channels. It's one going with the tom mm -hmm. to give it some punch. And the other yeah. one going, it basically does a downward sweep. Two yeah. and one are downward and upward sweeps, respectively. Okay. So it's doing a downward of 30 and an upward mm -hmm. of 40. So hey, there. real quick, I'm going to do like a five minute break. I'll be right back. Of so course, course. Jake, Take your time do me a favor. Do me a favor and don't finish these all in like two minutes. I'm trying my best to be as inefficient as possible. Yeah. All right. So let's get this guy going here. I'm going to um, unmute all my other channels so I stop freaking out that everything's silent. To give it that squishiness. Oh, gross. That's really one of the nastier sounds that I've heard. I want to change this to a release instead. What was that one? That was the duty cycle is one, two. Make this even faster. Wish I could make that even crunchier, just, it's so gross. What is that? Wrong channel. Keep hitting the win key instead of alt on this keyboard, which highlights the importance of having a keyboard that you actually are comfortable with. I'm good on most most of them most of the time, like as long as it has insert and delete and home as like a separate cluster of six. Mm -hmm. House tongue flap. All right, we're back. Hey, feeling good? Yeah. Good, good, good. Just doing a, doing a, a pause. I'm happy to be here all day, so I don't have to work on anything else. <laughs> what? One more time. SFX list is arm one. Okay, left arm, right arm. I'll just I'll just step through this whole intro. There's eyeball one and two. Tongue flap. Arm one and two. Popcorn. Legs, popping out. Kick. When he kicks. Wait, like, oh, I see. Because he, because the legs come out, both of them at the same time. Right. He just like stands. Just okay. A... Um, yeah. And then a, and then a side kick, and then a down dash when he begins moving downwards during a slam, and then when he actually hits during the slam. 
So okay. Um. So like a slam start and like a slam land. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So eyeball one and two. That's one sound effect for each eyeball, like when they. No, it's a sound for start. the window frame, and then the eyeball bursting out. One oh, is okay. the frame shaking, and then the second was as it like pops out of there. Okay. Are you literally naming them eyeball one and eyeball two? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then is arm one and two. Hold on, let me just. Yeah, arm one and two are the left and right arms, respectively. Hold on. Yeah, I got confused because there's two R's and there's two. There's two arms and there's two eyes, but like I one and two are for right. one eye. I one and two are not the same thing as arm one and two, and they're not in sequence. Uh, one is in sequence to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the the arms. What happens is like they there's like a there's like a flash real quick of like where the arm is gonna be, and then it just like appears. There's yep. not like a a burst. Right. That's that's um, what I'm um I'm basically gonna it's just gonna be a, a splintering. Imagine a boat breaking in half. A canoe. Okay. So, gonna... but so so is mm -hmm. arm one like our arm one and two a part one and a part two for each arm or yep. like is arm one and two arm one, arm one is left and arm one is right cool and then popcorn was when like each of those um like wood particles spawns right mm -hmm. Do you also want those? So when you when you hit him in the middle of the fight too, like the wood particles spawn where you hit him. Do you all, like at the same time that like we're playing a sound effect for the attack? Um, do you also want that popcorn to play like when you hit him? Because we're already no. hearing the sound effect from like the weapon itself. Right. This is just um, we'll have a separate get hit sound for him that is not the same oh. as the intro animation one. Uh, the intro effects. That's that popcorn sound is just for as an explosion. It's a it's a an explosion sound, basically. Okay, and you want it to play on every wood chip, or like when he stands. Yeah, you know how the wood chips are like round. Uh, they look kind of like bursts of dust. Uh. Can you, can you, can you, well, separately, there's also bursts of dust. <laughs> that's what I'm talking like the, about. Is the explosions? Each explosion is a popcorn explosion. That's the uh, the general the general term form is like when a bunch of bursts pop up. Do, 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 do. Like think Mario when you uh when you get fireworks, right? That kind of burst. Um, that's what I'm talking about. It should. That's that's what I mean by popcorn explosions. So the actual wood particles don't really make a sound, but the does. okay. As as he's like a bunch of dust is you know clutter da, 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 as he's coming to life. Um, Here, hold on. Are you are you watching? Are you watching my stream? Uh huh. Okay, hold on. So let's. I just want to step through it in slow motion real quick. So. So we're gonna be I one, I one, I two, I two, I one, I two, I two. Yep. Oh, the tongue was early. Oh yeah, the but... tongue, tongue, tongue. And then, okay, and then doosh, arm. Doosh, doosh, yeah. Okay, doosh, hold on. Doosh. Each one of those. <laughs> okay, so so okay, so each one of those dust. You're talking about the dust. Uh -huh. oh, okay. And then arm one and arm two and left and right. You got it. Okay, cool. So there's arm one and then arm two. Um... <laughs> Someone also okay. asked if it made sense to have a sound effect when Mina hit the ground or bounced or spun from the tongue. Well, it's going to sort of be baked into the clutter of the tongue unraveling sound, which is just okay. kind of cluttery. Well, so it might well, be covered. It might cover that foley sound in there, you know, even if it's not intent a separate intentional thing. I'll I'll yeah. make it like so. Oh. It's like you're falling down. Ooh. All right, it's Sounds it's right great. here. So it'll be in in the tongue flap. Uh huh. Cool. Right. I have to remember all these are.
There you go. It's like... I hopefully that's timed out correctly, but I... I mean, I'm usually either wrong by, like, a few frames in one direction or the other, and then you just have to move everything down a little bit to, to retime it. I'm going to make this go... Thanks for doing this one first. I wanted folks to be able to see the house just because it's cool and then because I know some people can stick around for like six hours. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. <laughs> the house is. Ugh, he's like moaning. This is too awesome. When he stands, it does like one final poof thing. Do you still want to play the popcorn sound for each one of those? There's like six of them. Or do you want want to just play it once uh, at that moment? The popcorn sounds are little little explosions. So each one corresponds to one of those visual effects specs as it were are you going to make like three or four different like quote unquote popcorn sounds um well i was counting on doing randomization this for this one like if we randomize the pitch it's as good as doing four separate ones for okay, this great. particular kind of sound cool not you can't um, get away with that everywhere but in this particular case it's uh it's a lot easier Control shift jasper one. On the code side, if I, um, like, if we want to play them in quick succession, mm -hmm. can it, like, it's not going to restart them unless we tell it to, right? Nope. Cool. It can play Whether I use the same sound. Yeah. Okay, great. If, if I use sound component or if I use the audio namespace? Yes. Cool. Right, thanks. It, I don't believe it ever right now. Well, like, oh, you're trying to save, like, save, play the same time twice, I'm not going to let you. The only thing is the sound component is you go and ask if a, if a sound is playing or not. And it literally just goes through all the sounds that it's playing and checks if that's the sound you wanted. So you can, like, um, ask it, like, is the sound playing? If not, play it, right? But... Yeah, so, well, so that. I'm looking at, like, Living House Boss mm -hmm. create ready poofs. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, it does like a loop where it generates like six of those dust yeah. effects, right? So like in that loop, can I put sound component play or like yep. will it not? Okay, can so it play like six separate ones? It'll play six separate ones. I don't think you should do that. I think you should. Well, actually, I don't know exactly how create ready loops work. Does it have like Anna? Like what, so this what, what makes it what makes it delay? Um, so it plays once during intro ready, and it just, like, plays a line, like, from, you know, horizontally, kind of, like, in random locations. Um, I see. The second of, argument to poof is a delay. Uh, yeah. So they're, like, slightly offset. So, like, instead of putting the sound effect in in an effect until poof, I was just going to put it, I was going to put it, like... Yeah. See where it says offset x plus equals tile size? I was just going to yeah. put like a sound component called there and just keep it in here. But the whole thing is like that's not going to play at the correct time because the delay. There's a delay in, that you're giving yeah. it that like, yeah, says yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. a random delay. So because of Can that. Can we. Is there a way to. There's probably not a way to like delay a sound effect though. Right? Not currently with how. Works. I could okay, I can, add I can, that, but yeah. I could add like an argument though to like the sound effect or to the anim effect until that just says like if the set play the sound, randomize the pitch. We could just do that, right? Yeah, you could add a separate function or do something like that for now. Um, I'll probably add a way so you can get a you can set a delay in sound when you call sound component play. Okay, but like a decent option for now is just to like edit, like just add a. a Maybe I can make like a poof plus yeah. sound function or whatever. Yep. I'm I'm gonna right now go ahead and add a delay for you for sound component. If that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can just test it. I, I mean I can just yeah. test it here and see how it goes. I mean I mean I would say continue what you're doing for now, but like we're gonna refactor this. 
Yeah, or do you mean like you're gonna submit a change now that I'm gonna try on stream or like oh, you're no, gonna no, make no, 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 no. That's like, is... yeah, I thought I thought you were gonna like submit that and I was gonna sink it and just do it now. And I was like, I don't I don't know. Uh no, that's not I'd, what I'd I rather just yeah, yeah, I'd rather just cheese it for uh for stream mm -hmm. sync. Exactly. No, I I just mean like this sounds like functionality you want, so let's let me go ahead and make that for you, right? Cool. Jake, how's it going? Which one are you looking at out of the list? I am... I have popcorn, legs, kick, down, dash, and stomp left. I got eyeball one, eyeball two, tongue flap, arm one, and arm two done. So I'm almost done with popcorn. It should take just a moment. Okay. I want this to be fairly subtle because we're going to hear a ton of it. Save. That's always a good idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Popcorn legs. I should be. I should be more. Proud of I've just been eating a granola bar and watching Jake. Sorry, uh, it's, it's, it is mesmerizing. So. It's pretty nuts. It just this is why I get stuck in this for like twelve hours at a time because it's like uh, you basically become zombified. Mm -hmm. Because well, on my end, it, like this one's going to be a little bit more complicated, just because there's like a lot. There's a lot of animations and a lot going on, so I should. Would you I like me to um, to render out the first half of them? I mean, that's the thing about boss battles is there's usually a ton of sounds in them, but. Sure. Yeah. Whichever. I mean, if you feel like submitting some, go for it. Okay. Hang on. Let me finish this one sound, and then I. Will... Oh my gosh! I have so many windows open. <laughs> <laughs> so unhelpful. Uh... because like secretly yeah so like different animations so it's it's not like the tongue motion is one animation and then like one eye is one animation and then the other eye is another animation like some of them are combined for the intro so I just gotta pay attention to like which frames that's happening on Right. Well, you so already you, you already spawn on. you already spawn those particle effects, right? So that already has to be there. Uh. Right. When the eye pops out, it spawns all those wood particles. So I imagine you already. Have... Yeah. So like so like the intro the intro is like normal house plus tongue plus the first eye, but not the second eye. Um. And like I'm, I'm spawning those wood particles on like frame sixteen. Sure, yeah, yeah. I'm just like maybe that's when you play the sound at the same time. You could just call cross frame, right? Cross time. Um, I, yeah, I was gonna check the. Yeah. It's a combination of like anim is new frame and anim get sequence frame index because I can oh. pick like the specific frame that I want. Oh sure, you can do that. Yeah, both work. <laughs> 
yeah, we're we're describing, I think, the same thing. But yes. The other option is that you you do that in cutter, right? You have like the cutter. Yeah, property. like is is prop like spawn yeah. tongue or okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, maybe I could do that. Either one will work. I think just going with your existing system will be better. It's gonna be totally nuts. Jake, when I when I play the tongue sound effect, mm -hmm. is that because it? It can just start at the very beginning of the animation and don't worry about anything okay. else that happens and it'll time it up. The same way they baked it into the uh, animation itself. <laughs> yes, I can't believe that works. Uh, <laughs> what worked? I made a really terrifying roar for him that sounds kind of like a train passing by. It's gross. I love it. <sighs> for the leg sound. I still need to make the. You okay over there? The screeching, uh, pig, uh, snort. I know it's just like the way you, the way you onomatopoeia. That was kind of amazing. There we go. Like that. Death scream almost. Right, it's him. The death yeah. scream is going to be even crazier. <laughs> <laughs> like, this one doesn't correspond just to the legs popping out. It's the entire everything <laughs> chaos happening around you that also includes the legs busting out. <laughs> All right, so we got that done. Let me um, render some of these out. Assuming I have the correct... Right. I used to have like a shortcut to change songs, so I could just control shift plus or minus. It's all about adap adaptation in the new tracker. I can't believe some of our sound effects are from Shovel Knight. We need to replace those. Yeah, definitely. It's Are's nice to have about... a library, though. You mean, what else do you think SFX underscore Polar Knight underscore Kick is from? What do you what do you what do you mean? <laughs> we totally made all these from scratch at the beginning. We've of made the them project. all from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what what shovel knight? Uh, do you mean hollow knight? Or do you mean Mina the Hollower? I mean Mina the Shovelor. Oh. Uh, the Shovel Lord. Tongue flap. Yacht Club Games, the makers of Hollow Knight. Ah uh, man. I still get that. Still happens. <laughs> still happens. For oh man, that reasons. was like for legal reasons. Jasper is kidding. Okay, back going oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. behind the scenes. <laughs> Celia, sorry, I'm gonna ruin all your plans. Oh man, uh, can I, can I tell people that like while the Kickstarter was happening, we got that in the press so much, or can I uh, cut this out of the font? I guess later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut my threats to you uh, later. Too. <laughs> How many night games can you have? Um, I think the exact number is five. Okay, good. We're at like four. Now. We're at four. We're at four. Well, with, mm, Jasper, do you ever, what's up? Do you ever accidentally control, like, just control all and like delete on accident? I do that all the time. We're like, accidentally, I just delete an entire file and for a second, I'm like, okay, I don't, don't, I don't think I've ever done that. There's a few. There are a few things that I I do on occasion that are silly. Every so often, I want my build folder, and I keep forgetting that all my gifts are in there, so I just I lose a bunch of gifts. That's like the main thing that I lose. All right, all my house files are getting. I'm editing them down now. Are you done with uh, all of them, or just like phase one? All but three. Go slower. Sorry. <laughs> Do you want me to play each of the arm effects like when it when it comes in or like because there's also that there's also that thing that happens right where like it kind of flashes in first do you want me to play on the flash or the arm i'd say on the flash because it might need a few frames to really get started okay and oh, it's so pretty fast too that, of that flashes yeah that flashes like five frames
All right, cool. Does, does, is, like, does arm left and arm right sound distinct from each other? Hmm? That's cool. Not very, but enough where it's like, <laughs> and then there's like an extra little <laughs> going on in the, in the other, in the, like the pulse channels on that one. Sorry, what car, what, what sound was your car making? Sir? <laughs> 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 You should get that checked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I go to the car repair place, it's it's pretty hilarious because it's like <sighs> Michael Winslow style, you know. It was going blah, 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 and I can't get it to go. Blah, blah, blah. All right, uh, a fade out. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh, uh, what is? That? Oh, it's looping because I, I guess I rented it out like a billion times. Whatever, I'll fix it later. Okay, I'm ready for all the intro except for the popcorn, which I'm gonna do now. Oh, that's boar splash. Jake, are you testing as you go? Because I'm not paying that much attention. But in the game? Like, or... No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> this is a dumb question, but like on stream, can folks hear the sound effect like as you're making it? Oh yeah, yeah. From start to finish, you'll see later. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like, hang on, I'm just gonna make the sound really quick, and I'm like. And then, oh, yeah, because I that thing. audio is kind of that audio is kind of quiet for me, so I can't tell if you're like if you just like make it and then press go and then it's done, or like are you continuously making it and playing it? Yeah, uh, but the problem, the thing, I need to like figure out how to make y'all hear me and and I'm recording you at the same time. I think we all just need to go into one laptop to be the main, the one stream server that controls them all. I mean, we have one in the oh. stream, room, but it's because hey, if I hear you, then um. Jasper, I don't think it's going to matter if I play the popcorn sound effect in Anim Effect Util because the delay isn't like the delay is in Anim Effect. Does it make sense what I'm saying? Like no. I would have to I would have to I would have to play the sound in yeah. Anim Effect. Well, yeah, and that's not that's not something you can easily do. Yeah, you you have you yeah. have to put it in the anime effect class. Um, that's I am that, working on that that like timeout thing for don't, you. Don't yeah, I don't don't I don't think we need to do it. But like uh for for like during stream, but I think it mm -hmm. for just for stream purposes, I think we'll just can we just play the popcorn sound, knowing it's going to be a little off. Sure, we'll fix it after stream. I think that's fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. in delay for you. It is kind of cool how like we are all here collaborating on this one thing in different components, but yeah, I think I think we should be fine. Yeah, if if the explosion sounds are numerous and not timed precisely, that's okay because you get lost in the clutter. Yeah, so mm -hmm. each of those explosions, um, like some of them, some of them are spawned immediately. Um, so like during the intro, that won't be a problem. Like a lot of them during the intro respond immediately. And then when he actually stands, they're randomized. Mm -hmm. Um, and like the place where like they're finally play after being delayed. Um, like I just can't put a sound effect in that class probably. So like when we play the sounds like on the final stand, it's going to be a little off, but I think for the sake of stream, I think that's all right. The rule of mm -hmm. thumb is if there is a visual effect that doesn't have a sound at all being played at the time, it's not that good. But if there's a if there's a visual effect that has sorry, if there's no visual effect and a sound or the visual effect ends and the sound is still going, that's fine. In other words, the timing of the sounds doesn't matter for giant group explosions like that. And so much happens at that at that particular time anyway too, like the, um the gates also make a noise at that time, yep. right? So like it's not just going to be silence and then right. That's why you, you don't can, notice then you can notice the yeah. Timing, yeah. You can cover up so much with sounds not being exactly right, but there being so many of them that you're just like, "Oh, it's it's a war," you know. Uh yeah. so you can uh you can get by without having to like write extra classes for it, you know. Okay, so uh, everything's in. Um, there are seven new files. Oh, cool. Arm awesome. one, arm two, eyeball two, eyeball one, tongue flap, legs, and popcorn. Ooh. Cool. Okay, I just synced them. Gross bunch of names. All right, let me <laughs> finish the last one, which is just kick down dash stomp. I should do a death one while I'm on a roll, but... 
I also did get the delay in for you if you want it. I'm. I think for stream, I'm just gonna hold off. I'm not seeing yep. anything mm -hmm. except like the sound effects folder, just to be. Yeah, safe, I'm not. But... I'm not gonna check it in. I'm just saying. Okay. When you're ready, I got it for you. Okay. Thanks. I can try that out later. Yeah, we can try it out later. Uh, okay. Um. I mean, Jake, you can make the death sound effect. I don't uh, think we want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't. We don't want to show it today. But you can totally no, play it if on. you want. It's like okay. it's, that. That one will actually take probably an hour or so. This is all the boss ones. No. They have like multiple phases, and I have to use all of the channels. I don't believe you when you say anything that you do takes an hour. I don't think I've. I can't imagine anything <laughs> of taking you more than like five minutes, Jake. That's after I already have the idea. It seems like I already... <laughs> the tracking is easy. The ideas are what takes the, the while. <laughs> is that, I, I like have to reject 300 of them to get the one right one. I don't, I don't believe you, Jake. It's okay. Nobody's really ever believed me about that. So it's a... See, uh, 12 is that one. Okay, cool. Secretly behind the scenes on my side, I have synced. Uh, so now I have Jake's sound effect changes, and I'm doing that tedious thing where I add them manually to the list of sound effects. Uh, and then I've picked out some spots in the boss code where I can just paste them in, and it should be pretty straightforward. Cool. That's the best news I've heard in 10 minutes. <laughs> There's lots of good news on this stream. Yeah, this stream is just bringing good news all around. This game is the coolest. It's so cool. They got a house that eats you and spits you out. <laughs> and then you have to fight it. And then other cool things happen. Ooh. It has a. We have a sound effect in the game called SFX House Tongue Flap. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. It's pretty That's good. It's pretty cool. We also have a sound effect called. Uh, hold on. SFX underscore Iron Knight underscore Thrust. Is that a, a, a game that shall not be named sound effect? No, that's a show light. No, that's uh, what I mean. Oh, uh, Shovel Knight shouldn't be named. Celia didn't tell me that one. Right. Well, no, okay. no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm pretending like we, like we, we're not reusing any sound effects at this particular moment. They're all, yeah, they're no, all. We, we will eventually get there. I do like how all of our so. Mina wasn't always named Mina. Mina was named pretty late in development, so all of the player sound effects are mouse underscore jump. Mouse underscore land, mouse underscore get it. Oh. Have we ever told the, 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 the crew what the other name for Mina was? Do you even know, Bridget? Do you remember? Um, well, I know at some point, like, Sean really liked Mousalina. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking of. I know that but Sean really I, likes that one. Sean really likes Mousalina. That's right. God, I remember there was this one slack, like, we had a slack thread where everyone was, like, fighting over the name of the game. There's so many, so many silly names passed out then. Oh, man. oh like, and I've learned, I've learned how to do that pitch thing, so I can, I can do that all by myself. Yeah. yeah. Uh... I forgot about Mausolina. God damn it, Bridget. <laughs> well, yeah, because like, and I know Mouselina sounds like Mina, but very different. I also, I, yeah, they sound kind of similar, but I think technically that like Mina is short for Wilhelmina. Yeah, and that's that's kind of that's a lot of syllables. It was named after. I mean, it was named after a lot of things. I think it was yeah. literally. Well, so I, Mina, like Mina, at least. Partially comes from Gothic horror, right? Like from, yeah, 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 yeah. from Dracula. Yeah. I think it I think it was older than that. I think Mina started because Alec was typing Anum a lot when working on the original Unity demo of this game. 
Um, and he eventually just started typing Anim backwards. Oh, wow. that sounds that sounds like a wives' That's, tale. That doesn't sound that, real. That sounds <laughs> apocryphal. I know that sounds like an Alec thing. Say that, or is this folklore? Alex specifically said that. Yeah, but that's where that's where Mina came from. He was typing Anim backwards a lot because he was typing like underscore Anim, right, or whatever M underscore Anim a lot. Like a retrospective, like yeah, that's why I did it. <laughs> yeah, he's like sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's uh, an Alex thing. That sounds like an Alex thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That was on purpose. I just clipped this and then sent it to Alex. Alex. So he can, um... I specifically said that. <laughs> I mean, I, I know we wanted to make the topic more connection, but I thought... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we absolutely do it, but yeah. Uh, Don't break the illusion, Jasper. Oh, I, I will absolutely break the illusion. If you give me an opportunity to, like, break the illusion, I'm smashing right through it. How do I mute people? Just wondering. Asking for a friend. <laughs> if you right-click on my name in Discord, there's a server mute button that you can click, assuming you have admin access. I I am the admin. Um, oh, okay. Just wondering. Just wondering. Asking for a uh, yeah, yeah. reference. There you go. Hey, um, <laughs> hey, you okay. see that? Because because yeah. I'm concentrating and Jake is concentrating. Do we have any questions that like any um, genuine questions coming in, or like anybody saying anything? Okay, we're talking about Mausolina. Um, what are people up to? This is like me at parties too. I'm like in the other room, just like tracking quietly. Just. <laughs> I've not, I've not seen any questions for a little while. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Do funny That's questions. okay. I know. I know. We've also been streaming for like. Oh, way too long. Yeah. Three hours, which I I is fine with me, but I expect some folks. Yeah. Probably. If, probably. If I see any questions, I'll be sure to. Answer. I'm doing background stuff, so. I think all oh, the ones are. that you sent me, Jake, I think they're ready to go. Cool. Uh, I'm about to finish the last. Yeah, I can I can test out the intro and see how this is working. Um, and then... Oh, I have <laughs> questions. What's everyone's favorite part of the game so far? And that I was cannot, from the Red Yacht. I cannot say. I, I can't say, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's I literally cool. can't. I've been working on some really cool stuff that I am yeah. I cannot show anybody, and I'm so dis. I'm, I'm okay. So okay. Well, uh, what about what about favorite stuff that's in the trailer that like doesn't feel like a spoiler? or demo? Um, uh, like midden, but um, any midden? Any yeah, midden's midden. pretty fun. Midden's great. He's a great sticky yeah. guy. Yeah, Midden's the guy like that you can find um, in the crypt in like a couple side rooms who like smells really bad, but she accuses Mina of smelling really bad, mm -hmm. and so um, if you anger him, he may or may not become like a mini boss that you got to fight. Midden's really, pretty fun. Honestly, a lot of the NPCs are really good. I kind of really like uh, Coach Horseman, who doesn't get a lot of love right now. <laughs> yeah, Horse Coachman, whatever. We can make um, you horse coachman merch, but just yeah, for me. yeah, just for me. <laughs> uh, a horse, a horse coachman plush all to myself. I'd love that. Um, I'm trying to think like if there's yeah, there's there's a lot of the crypt and crypt road. I mean, it okay, so many are serving your visions. Okay, but... time out. I just what? put all those sound effects in and played it, and that's pretty fire. That's pretty close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. stream, 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 stream. Hold on, hold on. Switching back. I just finished the last one, by the way. So. Hold on, I gotta something something about the eyes. I think isn't quite right. Let me step through it real quick. That was pretty good though. Yay! Jake is yeah, like an absolute beast at just first trying all this shit. Hold on, <laughs> I'm just stepping through to see if the eye sound effect is playing correctly. On that shows, you got second and third tries though. It's good. Yeah, I don't think the I don't think the one of the eyes isn't working. Uh, aye, aye, aye. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. Um, kick down dash. Oh, that's not kick down dash. That's house down dash. It's house underscore eyeball two, right? Uh, yes. I think if it no, 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 it's it SFX wouldn't. house. Or those are. 
Um, yeah, well, so so the the way that we format it is like I I think I've got the right file name, and then we just give it like its own internal name. Right, the, the so we're label. not writing as yeah. So like this name that I'm highlighting over here is the name that like we actually use in Code Land. Cool. So that part's right. I'm just not hearing it play. You're not streaming uh... on Discord, but yeah. Oh, am I not? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I I'm oh. I'm not here. I mean, you can if you want to. Uh, I think, you... the, yeah, the eyes aren't... I'm not hearing the eyes, so I think something's... I, I can't tell. Um, let actually, me look at all the wave just... files in a sec here as well. Wait, let me just play this. Yeah, because like, if I just play the wave file, I can hear it. But like, if okay. I play it in game, something's just not working. So let me put a breakpoint real quick. Don't... Oh my god, I just um... added a chip accidentally. <laughs> oh, it's playing at the wrong time. What is happening? Of course, uh... I added a 76489. That was... I mean, you're testing for frame one. I don't know why you're testing for frame one, because that's okay. the same when his tongue starts. No, yeah, that's wrong. I, that must just be old, because I want this one, which is like 15. Yeah, that seems because better. Then six, uh, uh, no, and then that one's. Yeah, I think I just put in the wrong number. Hey guys, just a heads up, the audio is not coming through for the the game. What? Yeah, for mine. Or, yeah, yeah. It has it paused. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, paused I, right now, and I'm, okay. I'm actually um, I'm editing at the moment. Oh, just We're kidding. We're a okay. little bit late on that. Yeah, it's just to... Good looking out, though. you see the bugging. Okay. Everyone's anxious to hear it. Yeah, I, I was just quizzing. I know, I brought... Yeah, okay, it. instead of instead of one, it's actually 11. So there we go. Okay. Oh, you for, that, for that frame. Okay, so that should do it. You close. You stop streaming, Bridget. Oh, let me um okay, hold on. Get back in there. Yeah, here. Uh, also, see if we can revise our process so you can rebuild assets without restarting the game every time. Sure. Oops. Uh, I'm so excited. Okay. Am I am I audible? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Here it comes. Uh, wait, let me make sure there's no breakpoints. Cool. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit, Jake! It's cool. I like it. <laughs> what the? What? The sound effect, the uh, <laughs> popcorns are too loud, but. Everything else okay. is working so far. Uh, Holy and shit. and those um um the the change in pitch did that sound right? It's totally like, awesome. Like yeah, perfect. Like, everything you put in there was like it's chaos basically. I'm gonna have to listen a few times to really get the uh the details. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but, we can we can play it a few times. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I made okay. the I made the explosions way too loud. Uh, so uh, uh we yeah, can we, um, change that code or um, yeah code, yeah. Okay, how do I? Oh, I see. So, like, uh, when I'm calling the sound Sorry, play, you, you can give oh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta put in the group. Uh... The group should be SFX, which is zero by default. But like, what's the? What is the namespace YC audio? No, uh, just audio. No YC. Uh, give me a group. Ah. That should be audio KSX, KSFX group. Yeah. And then, so for volume, like, half? 0. 0.5. 0.5. Good audio. I'm going to have to stop the stream one more time to include this file. All right, I have kick, down, dash, and stomp going in now. Those are the last ones, I think. Besides, yeah. besides death. Is it not like audio SF? You might you might not be including audio dot h. I'm including audio at the top. Oh, there we go. It just took a second for Visual Studio to. Okay, got it. it. Got it. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Visual <laughs> Studio. Whenever I say notice it, I think of that guy. <laughs> like, notice me, Zampa. <laughs> <laughs> notice me, Visual Studio like, Daddy. Is that somebody? Somebody <laughs> posted that like a month ago, and it just ruined the word notice. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
here i'll share one more time because i had to i had to stop and start again um jake if you want to tune into this but uh yeah and then when you're ready i got all i got the the new three files are in um okay let me let me think i'm still thinking about that guy yeah me too that's what i made the commit message i called it notice me how senpai ew (laughs) respectfully ew okay um Yep, I love that that guy Bowser Vince. Go subscribe. He's, he's so, so funny. good. So good. <laughs> okay. It's his like it's his accent that does it because no no one no one yeah. says it like that. <laughs> we have righteous fire <laughs> coming from down under. <laughs> yeah, isn't it like a protest? Or something it's like, a, at, like, it's like mean, there, there are a few of them but i think the one that you're thinking of is the is the one from the statue of the the yeah the yeah, gas, yeah gas group the, yeah, the demonic statue it was like yeah it was like a there's also the sinkhole thing. one the oh sinkhole yeah ones. they like grabbed him for the news yeah <laughs> well i mean he, yeah. he edited himself in is the thing it's like oh it was okay a, i didn't know it was like a yeah he edits himself. You're into saying the you're room. saying yeah. that the, that his local news place did <laughs> didn't didn't air that. No. <laughs> Jumping in, all of his skits are are skits. They're yes. not real. So not oh, I thought they were. I thought they were it. real. So oh, oh, Bridget, honey, Bridget. No. <laughs> he, see, he got he got me. Only I'm, I'm a true. A that awkward. You know what, Celia? Ways. Celia, that just makes me a true fan. <laughs> you believed. It's all real to me. Damn it. Yeah. Let okay, me I'm going to send you like all of his content when this is over. Okay, going back to behind the scenes, fun guys. Wait, 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 wait. If he's in on it, that's no fun. Yeah. His, he edits himself in everything. His friends are the ones that are interviewing them. Um, like yeah. the comic one that we're not going to talk about because it's not stream appropriate. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. There's he's great. okay. That's that's great. fun in it. That's fun in its own way. I respect. Bridget, that. I'm the only one that's actually that awkward in real life. Like <laughs> most of the time, it's an act. <laughs> yeah, Bridget, he used to have a um a character that he would do where he was a mad scientist that like like was like an inventor. Yeah, I've like great. I've like never seen him in anything else. Oh my god. Okay, well I'll show you later. Okay, go ahead. Okay. focus on the stream. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just so I'm so Jake, you sent over um those other three sound effects and Get I'm just sinking now. Stop. Yeah, and I haven't I haven't prepped those, but they shouldn't be too difficult. No problem. Why did I say that? That was a dumb thing to say. No, it won't, because you've been—it's <laughs> been like really smooth so far most of the time. So, yeah, in part that's just kind of a product of like how the state machines are set up, though, because there's like there's usually like a distinct point in code where you can see where like, um, like a a a behavior starts, and then a distinct point where it continues, and then a distinct point where it ends. So because mm-hmm. we've kind of like because they're all set up in that way, um, it makes it pretty easy to like know when to start a sound effect for each of those moments yeah yeah definitely you have the exact timing control yeah like we already know really in like really specific places where certain behaviors stop and and end um and that can so that can actually bite you out. if you have like a, a looping sound or something that's like yeah you know and then it never gets cut off or it never you know it ends after one frame cuz it's out of that state you know it's like um tricky ja- well jasper i think you can speak to that though right because if i just like if i just play a sound it's independent from like what the state machine is doing like i'm i'm yeah. taking advantage of the state machine to like know when to play it but then the audio system takes over like the state machine that i'm working in isn't the thing that actually plays the sound it like starts the sound but it doesn't maintain the sound yes yeah, correct call. Unless, unless I want to like, unless I want yeah. to to manually stop it ahead, like early. Yeah. Okay. So sound component. I can't remember if like if it if it any goes away if it like immediately cuts off playing all the sounds because it could do that, but I don't think it does that. I think it keeps them playing. Hey, quick question. Um, What's up? Uh, so when the when the kick, um, I'm playing the kick sound effect when um like before the kick or during the kick because there's like an antic moment yeah there's a bit of an antic i'd say 
if you started at the very beginning of it, it might be over by the time it really kicks in. So try. Yeah. So I just was, I just wasn't sure because there's like there's like an antic where he's like shaking his leg a little bit and then the right, kick goes. Right, so right. I just wanted to check that like we're not doing anything for the antic right now. Now I'd say start it when start it when the kick starts, and then if it if it feels like it takes too long, you know, or it's like not hitting when it when it feels like, then you can play it during the antic and it'll probably be just right. As long as the antics always the same length. If it's like sometimes it's five seconds versus twenty frames, then that would be more difficult. This is the first time I've had a file called house kick dot wave in a thing and it was Why would you ever need well, oh, it's sorry. Not, a, not a kick drum for a house song, you mean? Yes, that's usually what oh. house is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling on myself how lame I am. No, I have, I have like so many like 909 samples. Usually a house yeah. kick would be the. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. We need it's... like house. We need house snare in order it's... when it traps you. And then a little hat. Like he has to wear a little hat. So we can yeah, have dude, a... I'm so uncool. I did not oh, know what no. you meant by house for no, like a good minute. That's just me being. Super esoteric. It's, it's slam. Slam is what it is. I'm sorry I'm giving these non-standard names. Sean and I actually went through a whole list and came up, came up with file names. And at uh, 158, I realized it existed. Uh, okay, question. So, well, actually, maybe it'll just make sense when I um, when I show you. So I guess, hold on just a second. Oh, maybe this is fine. Uh, build assets. Um, in another window that you can't see, I have like a, a script okay. that I'm running that builds assets. So that's the invisible pause between editing this file over here and editing like editing this and then running it. So there's like a secret additional step. It's faster today we're, we're than like it I'm used waving to be. my hands. Like back in like way forward times, that was a significant part of our workflow. <laughs> was waiting for that. Because computers just weren't as fast back then. Uh, it is here, I'm gonna I'm gonna test it on my end without you being able to hear it for a second here. I am also really like this is the first studio I've worked at where we have really fast game compile times. Our game compiles like from a from scratch in like two minutes, which is unheard of. That's pretty satisfying to test stuff because it's you know, turnaround is it really does uh, add up after a while. Jake, mm -hmm. you know you know what we need. Yo, I think we need like a hold on. Uh, let me check that it's not happening already. What we need, we need like a, a sound effect that plays when he lifts off the ground. Use um, I like when like when one. he raises and he's doing his little wing flap. Uh huh. Try using eyeball one. It's gonna sound like a okay. rickety wooden thing, like lifting off without booming too much. And you will already have forgotten that it was used for the eyeball thing. Oh, I won't forget. You won't forget. <laughs> the player okay, will have. Uh... Cool. This is the hypothesis. I'm not certain, but okay. So here's the intro again. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, should I get sound going? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. There, there's a lot of again. Staple. There's some staples and some mm -hmm. some hot glue. All right, staple me. Let's some, go. Some grafting. <laughs> It actually works pretty well. It works okay. You could layer uh, the dash on top of it if you wanted, or the same one that when you um, uh, down dash, you could use when he dashes up on top of that if you wanted to layer two sounds. Oh, I see. So when he goes up, also do down dash at the same time as the. No, like... no, no, no. The down dash is it's non second thought. Um, it's too it's too drastic. And I'm so that that slam happens pretty fast, but I am playing like the um, the down dash and the stomp. Good, good, good. So I hope I hope you hear them both. I do. They, they kind of it, it just happens kind of fast. At first, I thought, did I bake a 
a boom into that sound? No, it's playing at the. It's playing on top. Yeah, this like like the beginning of the of the hey, slam. Uh, it sounds like we don't have stream audio. We don't have game audio on stream. Rud. Really? Yeah. I could have sworn. All right, play um, do some sound. Thanks. Sorry, sorry, crew. <laughs> really? Here, can you hear it? We haven't changed anything. We're waiting. I'm just waiting for YouTube delay, basically, at this point. Oh, okay. if... This card hey, tells us if, we have, if we have stream I'm audio. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it on my view meters. So. Okay. I mean, I can also just quit the game and like reload it. And Jake, if you want to. They have audio now. It's good. Okay, great. Okay, good, 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 good. I was okay. like, I was seeing those Ooh. meters jump. <laughs> Yeah, 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 like yeah. what? What would have changed? All right, so let's Spoilers. let's let's look at the whole um the whole intro sequence and see where the boss fight is at, basically. All right, Bridget, do you want to restart from the intro? Yeah. Oh, uh, that popcorn random pitching sounds so good. Yeah. Oh god, I did not lose all my help. I could make like a really, uh, backgroundy wood crackling sound for when he's shaking before a kick, like, like cracking, um, you mean, cracking the boards and then... You mean like during, during this point? Yep. Like yeah, imagine, sure. like... A stalactite breaking off of a, an ice cave. Mm -hmm. That cracking so, sound, you know. Do we want some light stompies for when he's just walking around? Because it sounds a little bit barren right now. It sounds oh, barren because like... there's no soundtrack. Sure, okay. So it means he's uh... gonna fix that. Alright, fair enough. I hear it, in, but nobody else can, so I'm not worried. But it's Instead gonna be of... really active. I wish there were more of like a whoosh when he starts flying instead of yeah. um, just the little twinkling sound. Use the board dash. Yeah, do we have another? Okay, cool, there it is. Do we instead play that of over? Instead of the twinkly sound or both of them? Um, Take the tw twinkly out, I'd say. Fly. Fly, you think? Oh, I like that better. Personally. Or you could use SFX Duchess Swing 1 or 2 would be excellent as well. Oh, that's great though, yeah. That's good. This is a boring house. Don't insult him. It's B-O-A-R. <laughs> oh, bo smorgas boring house. Smorgas mm -hmm. That That sounds so good. It's getting... It's get yeah, no, it, it... It feels impactful. Yeah. Alright, is... cool. Any any other action items? Should we just kinda do another run through of start to finish? Yeah, yeah, let's let's uh let's see how it goes. Here it is. I feel like there needs to be the second eyeball comes a little bit too early and like there's a little pause. Does that make sense? If you, it goes, um... If, if, it goes tick, tick, and then silence. Well, um, if you were to randomly, um, pitch eyeball one, that effect will be less pronounced because you won't hear the machine gun effect as much. In other words, you're hearing the exact same sound twice, mm -hmm. so the silence between them becomes conspicuous. It'll still be barren between... But I'm gonna iterate on the sound to include more jangly, so it has a more of a trail off. Yeah. So it's like. Tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick okay, so wait, what's, be good. what's uh, so the action item though? Randomly pitch eyeball one by I don't know negative three. For both, three. Uh, for both times when we're using eyeball one, or for just um, like the first or the one second. Of, one of the eyeballs, yeah. Yeah, I'd say the second one should be random. Uh, okay. Eyeball one. Mm -hmm. Do we not use eyeball two right now? It plays after. Oh, it's, it's not volume. It's the pitch. Um... Oh, something random or something specific? Up random. or down? Let's try random. Or I'll just do my. 
tried and true pitch. Ready? It's negative five plus five on the screen. Oh, is it? Oh, no. I have negative four, positive four. I can't tell if that's good. Let me listen. You mean zero. So, uh, shut up. Sorry, I'll shut up. It's negative point four and positive point four. Okay, yeah, I, I meant like, yeah. Let's see if this works. That was the same twice, I think. So what's what's difficult is I'm playing in them at the same time because like so, uh, like if you look at the what's happening in the animation, like the eyeball on the left pops out in the same frame as the eyeball on the right starts. So maybe the mm. solution is I I might hear it. Hold on, I know what to do. I'll just I'll just I'll just wait it. Hold on. I'm just gonna off I'm just gonna cheat. Uh this should help. Uh yeah. Because like the second eyeball starts technically starts like bulging on the same frame that the like the first eyeball emerges and i can just wait until like the next bulge thing ah. so let's uh i think i synced this okay let's try again hey yeah. that there was we totally go good. do you still do you still want the pitch different um yeah yeah but i would i would say take it down to like point 0.1 tops Point one on either side, like uh, negative yeah. or positive. It okay. should be just very, very subtly different to avoid the built-in biological effects either. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. That's perfect, and it the the twinklies also hide the, the space. There's a lot less space now. Easy to adjust to that. Cool! That is sounding really good. The, the music is pretty intense for this one. So I'm working on it. Yeah. At present. Are you? Yeah, Are all of September. Yeah. Oh, well, not on the stream, you mean. No, 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 no. That... <laughs> I was going to say, that... like, you're going to hop over to your YouTube and you're going to be there. That big get hit when he slams looks so good. Yeah, that looks That's works. so good. I'm pleased with that. Yeah, you could toot your own horn on that one. I'm very pleased with it. Okay, cool. Um, I think that's pretty much Woo. it for this guy. Yeah. Nice. We got through three whole enemies. What the heck? Do you want to look through the other ones and see what and uh, revisit them? I don't know. we can do raccoon is probably not going to take too long if we want to do raccoon, but raccoon's kind of weird because like mm -hmm. I expect what we'll want. We'll so. Here, let me let me give you like a raccoon tour. So like what he does is like when he he idles for a bit, um, just kind of randomly. Every now and then he has like a confused hop where he'll just kind of like hop back and forth. Oh, he does this weird like like technically he's like a little man in like a raccoon costume. He's, he's not a raccoon. Actually. That's, yeah, that's Tanuki Mario's uh, real life form, you know. Uh huh. Oh, I should also uh, ask. Is any? Let me go check and see if there's any. Um... Any questions? Yeah, if we do have a break for questions. questions yeah, sure. we should so probably pack it in pretty soon because it's been three hours. So yeah, I'm yeah. I'm down to wrap it, and I'm sure some folks are probably wiped cool. out. I'm I'm tired. Uh, no, question for tired. Jake for Yo. a lot of people. What's the what's your favorite song you've ever made? I know it's always a hard one. Uh, the hub level from um Spectre Night, Spectre of Torment. Um, oh yeah. Or I, that I I mashed up Contra Four and Cowboy Bebop once. And That's to contra fun. bebop, but I can't yeah. find it. It sucks. I can't find it. It was what? all right. It was an in joke at Wait for it that I sent to people, <laughs> and I just completely lost it. But um, we're gonna see. If we, we'll find it for you. Don't worry. Someone has it somewhere. I don't know. This is arbitrary. Favorite song depends on mood. Yeah, I know. Sometimes always the favorite song that I wrote is just a song by Rafi or something. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's like N A is the answer. Sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, not anything from Bubba Golf? Come on. You had so many hanger bangers in that one. Right. That was, see, it's hard to, to pick based on a particular game because even yeah. if the game isn't like hardcore gamer illustrious or whatever, you know, even if it doesn't mm -hmm. have as much street cred, 
you still want to go hard on it. You still want to like do the best. Absolutely. 90s sports game you possibly can. Um, so it's like my my favorite thing that I work on is the thing where the people I was working with were the most hype because it's mm-hmm. the happiest memories when I think back on it. Personally, the music was. Mm. personally, I will say like having experience, the more licensed the title is, the crazier everyone goes on it. The more freedom yeah. everyone just has to just go nuts. It's like, yeah, Shrek is going to be dripped out and just going. Yeah. Can yeah, I see can everybody I post... has their own favorite, so I, I like that more than me having my own favorites. Can I post some of the stuff from Bubba Golf? Because I don't think you can download that game anymore. That was yeah, like yeah, an yeah. iOS. Ex- I'm going to post some of this. This is like stuff that I can't even remember what this was. It was licensed for what was it? Who is Bubba of Bubba Golf? Bubba, was it Bubba, Wall- Bubba Wallace. Watson. Yeah. Bubba Watson. One of those big golf Watson dudes. Gol- golfers. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Bubba Watson Golf for. The for iOS and Android, and these are I'll post two in the channel that Jake did that they're both fantastic. Um, obviously, like a, a little Ace Combat, a little sort of uh, that kind of jazz because I posted City Rooftops and the just select menu because the uh, select yeah, menu is just Ace Combat and the so City straight Rooftops, up Ace straight up Ace Combat, and City Rooftops is I think something else. I can't remember what you're, I mean, just sort of general fusion, I guess, sort of yep. Cassopia T Square kind of thing. The, the purpose yeah. of all all of that stuff is just to make the people that I'm working with laugh because nobody else even yep. cares outside <laughs> of the studio sometimes that, you know it's uh yeah really want to make the best of every situation you know I have found some absolute crazy music just like in in the weirdest licensed games and it's always a, jo- a joy when you find that so well you're, you're the master it. of finding obscure sports titles with like <laughs> crazy good sound. ESPN more of the cheese and golf. more macaroni. <laughs> well, that, that's not that's not a game soundtrack. This I'm just saying in terms of like obscure songs. Oh, I, I have a playlist of like a hundred songs. The next time I do a programming stream, which I hope is soon, I'm just gonna blast through that thing. It's eight hours of music. Yeah, it's it's really good. <laughs> it's all good. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll also post this one. This is a, a song I found a few months ago. ESPN Final Ro- Round Golf 2002, and it's absolutely it's so freaking jazzy. Anyway, that's. That was a question for me, but I'm still going to answer it. Go listen to that random Konami soundtrack. Anyway, uh, I think we're hey, about wrapped, wrapped here, or do we want to go for a raccoon, do you think? or? I think I'd be set to kind of just wrap it up and yeah. be all done. Mm-hmm. Rap all right. Uh, what we could do, if we're all out of questions, we could just do like a final wrap through of like what it is yeah. that we worked on today. Sure, yeah, sure. That'd be rad. Whoa. If you guys right, want cool. to hear so... the new track, I could play the new track from. Oh yeah, we yeah, should, yeah. We should do that September. Too. Here, can we? Can we? Here, I'll like Let's summarize the different first, sound yeah. effects we do. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then it'd be super to wrap it on that song. Okay, yeah, cool. cool. So if y'all remember, first we started with the pumpkin flyer. It sounds so good. It's a very satisfying a little like spit. <laughs> spit yeah. sound. <laughs> Uh, we did boar. Oh, hold on. Yeah, okay. And then here's boar over here. Yep, and maybe he can do his... I'll try to get him to do his little ready thing. We need to do a fake out. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we did house boss. Oh, we didn't do raccoon. We did house boss. House boss. And this whole intro, which sounds amazing. I love that, like, that pitch change where it goes like, ugh. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like the, the house groaning, basically. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> it is I feel not like... happy to be here. Yeah, I feel like that's the sound the player makes. They're like, oh, oh. no. <laughs> Uh, and the death is like going to be pretty pathetic too. I feel like internally we all make the opposite sound. Like, oh yeah! Alright, cool. I think that's is, a sound yeah. effects wrap. That that was a lot. We did so much today. So happy Got with this. Got a lot done. It's a, it's a cool process. You guys, this, anybody watching, this is how we do um, like the final round of sound effects implementation internally. We just like get an assembly yeah. line going where it's, you know, I, I do a, f- a few things, we implement them, we 
uh, sort of regroup and figure out where to go next. It's uh, mm-hmm. it's the best way to work in the zone in a group. Yeah. So, Here, really quick, want to circle back around. Anthony Yuki had a question, which we've kind of talked about a little bit, but just do we create a unique sound effect for every action, for every unique NPC and enemy? And so far, the answer is no. We use them quite a bit. But also, like, it seems like we also choose, like, key times about when to play sound effects um, Mm -hmm. so that they're not, like, overused or spammy. My policy is... uh, Go ahead. Sorry, you go, go, Jake. Okay, Any if it's going to be annoying to notice it because it's being reused, then I won't. And I'll make something new. If it's something mm-hmm. you never notice in a million years, is also the like the ocean waves, but also the wind, and also the, mm-hmm. the like enemy dying, falling off a cliff. Then I'll do it. But if it's if it's like the enchantress defeated, I'm probably mm-hmm. not going to reuse it everywhere. So yeah, yeah, that's that's my policy basically. I'm trying to remember where it was, but we had something that I was hooking up, and you were like. I was it was some explosion that I was hooking up and you were like use lightning strike 03 uh, with a little bit of dust dust spread 06 in there or whatever <laughs> it was and it was like randomly choose between lightning strike 5 and rock break 2 like of course we have all these sort of layers <laughs> and we're going to you know we can make new sounds by layering existing ones mixing their volume and stuff like that so in in many ways we do create a lot of custom sounds but sometimes we'll just say this sound was really good here. It's going to be really good here too. Why not reuse it? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But also, Jake makes sounds in like ten seconds. So I'm sure if we asked it for him for dedicated sounds for every single thing, he'd be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, we just got to wait ten weeks to get me booted to my desktop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then it's All right. pretty quick after that. Cool. So. Do we want to wrap with playing that last song you've been working on, Jake? Do you want to yeah, tell us what that one's for? Well, let's let's, let's, let's get... load it up. This is, it's sure. not Factorio, but um, nothing as cool as Factorio. All right, let me save you this so it. that I don't <laughs> scream later. Uh, I love that the file extension is dot fur for furnace, and I'm working on a Ooh. mouse game. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so this is um, the, the level we were just working in is September, and this is when you first get into the level, and this is like the stage one of September, the first area. Um, and then the beginning of the song is actually going to be a transition from other stuff. So it's you're not going to hear it every time. It's kind of like in Shovel Knight when you go into the village. It'll only play the intro to the song the first time you go in there, unless you reboot the game or whatever. Um, and uh, this will be similar, but it'll also have transitions between other areas in this level. It's complicated, but the first part of it is not really the song. So here we go. You're not playing it yet, right? I can't hear it. We can't hear it because it's not coming through our stream. I forgot. Wait, I can't hear Jake's audio anymore. Jake, you talking? Oh, I was. And I was talking about how you couldn't hear what I was doing. But you couldn't hear me <laughs> okay. talking about me talking about. Wow. Give me strength. Let's um let's just play it again because uh I think people are hearing it in the Okay, they can hear the music but not me. Okay. Let's just hit play. <laughs> set it to repeat the pattern. Let's play the whole song now.
after three minutes because I didn't want it to be too repetitive as you're going through these stages for potentially, I don't know, half an hour or something. I, I don't even know how long <laughs> it'll stay in there, but I don't want it to be looping every 15 seconds because you'll go nuts. Um, so yeah, that's new music. You can hear what the Game Boy and the MSX sound like together. And that's kind of a first. Like You were never able to even do that before without putting two video game consoles next to each other i guess like hitting start at the same time it's it's there's no easy option for syncing two chips from two different eras uh two different companies even it's uh it's pretty nuts um so yeah um i'm looking at the at the comments now um the fade out at the it's not a fade out it was just a break <laughs> it just gets <laughs> um and then it kicks back in afterwards. So it's kind of a it's kind of story time. So all right, is uh is the rest of the D Discord still here? Are we uh yeah, is the I'm here. still around? Okay, great. I'm here. Because I wanna I wanna yeah. I wanna wrap it up so you guys can Yeah can rest and recover. I'm kinda I'm kinda beat too. But I'll I think still that's a wrap but keep track. Yeah. That was excellent. Yeah, Good that was work, super everybody. fun. Yeah. Thank you for showing up, everybody. Mm -hmm. and backing us and believing in us it's really awesome yeah thanks everybody in the discord yeah um so wait wait when are we going to do this next uh not necessarily audio but the next dev stream so Celia, you, you got anything to yeah. plug hey guys uh thanks for tuning in we do our dev streams just about every month it's usually in the second week um we announce in the beginning of the month the week prior when the stream is so keep an eye out for my announcements on kickstarter and also my announcements on pledgebox if you're a pledgebox backer i also ping you guys in the in the mina lounge so you'll hear about it but we look forward to sharing more mina the hollower content with you also just keep an eye out for any other yacht club games endeavors we have some fun events being planned um, for the end of the year. So keep an eye out for that as well. Um, it's, it'd be lovely to have you once I iron out all those details. This VOD is going to remain up on the private uh, VOD list. We have the public VODs coming out soon once I make that playlist and upload everything when I go into the office. So keep yeah. an eye out for that as well. Um, yeah, so you guys will get to, yeah. So thank you guys so much. Oof, I'm tired. A big shout out to <laughs> Bridget and Jake and Jasper for leading this amazing stream. It was so much fun. Um, I definitely learned a lot myself. <laughs> so thank you. It's been awesome. And thank you to you guys for tuning in. Yeah, that was so, awesome. See you guys later.